There you are, Greek. What's up, everybody? Greek, I'm looking at the comments. It looks like people aren't really into this, bro. I don't, I don't know. understand. I really don't understand why they're against anything that allows them to get more Vulcan. I mean, that's a good that's a good point, too. I'm just excited about it being released anyway, just no matter what. Like if it if it gets released, that's not gonna be the real thing, right? You can bridge it over whatever people end up getting. But I think that's a great point. People, they don't even have it. They get to have it. And then there's people that want to add to their bag. They can add to their bag. This is, in my opinion, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at the comments. So I'm, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people like that are for this. Yeah, I can't. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Every time he gives us a chance to add to our bags, it seems like the majority of people think it's a bad thing. But. If they're only looking at themselves and they're not as interested in gaining ball, then they think this is a negative because they lose percentage. They lose out. But this depends what kind of mindset you're in. And yeah, it is Greek. I shaved. Is, is there gonna, uh, do you think that they would, do you, do you think that he would add to the, he would probably have to add to the circulating supply though, right? That's, what, that's the one question I have with all this is where these coins are coming from when you do claim whatever claim and bridge it over. They have the thirty three million, right? They have the thirty three million. They could probably pull from that, but if they didn't want to, they would have to mint new coins. That'd be the only thing, though, right? Yeah. That's but then that means our market cap goes up. Exactly. I don't think. Well, they I mean, mint. but no, because he said they would then go on with whatever it was trading on BSC, that's what we would open up with on Vulcan, right? So that, so who knows what the, what the, what that price would be, right? Yeah. Who knows? And if they pull from the treasury, we're not going to have all 27 million coins bought up for anybody wondering that it's not going to even be close to that. Yeah, Cause if you did oh, yeah, it, right. dollars then you would create a huge liquidity there. Um, so who knows they could pull from the, uh, 
from the treasury and it wouldn't be a lot like how much money do you think would come in and i don't think it would be that much but it's surely an interesting idea don't forget to like and subscribe to both channels we're on greek and daniel prado worldwide um let's go to the comments to see what people are saying greek they've got a lot to say there's uh Steve, Steve Ando says, first on the board, Greek says, let's do it. Boom. So Gento says he's first, though, although, although he is second. Hank Tester's also first. Penzies is also first. Slumdog is also first. Everybody's first on the board today, bro. They're Hendrick all first. Hendrick is the only one who said second. <laughs> <laughs> he was the only one that was kind of right, because everybody else is first. Some and could be right, because they're on two different channels, so where they're saying first, but. Do you have right. the the worldwide stage on? I do, yeah. I have the worldwide stage. For anybody that wants to come into the worldwide stage, you could do that. Or if you want to just come on the show, you can come on the show too. That's all that's always fun, right, Greek? Oh yeah, everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. We want every opinion here. Yeah, we named it the greatest idea ever because me and Prado, of course, we gotta agree with Sir Brian Legend. He throws an idea out. We gotta agree. Um, because everybody just assumes we agree with everything, but we love Vulcan. I was gonna say, but we also love this idea too, right? I mean, yeah. that's so if you're giving Grotto a chance and you're giving Greek a chance to add more Vulcan, we're going to be for the idea. I'm just I'm just saying that we're going to be for it. Um, but we want to hear everybody's opinion. And the right. Yep, I am. Oh, Brian said he might join on Discord. Sorry, I was on I was on my I was on the wrong Wi-Fi and you were breaking up like crazy, so I just fixed it. I think we're good oh, now perfect. though. Yeah, you sound good now. All right. Yes, basically I was just saying we we love Vulcan, so any chance we get to add to our bags in Vulcan, we will take. And we'll love it. And I agree with that. Uh, Sargento says, uh, boom, how about a GVO slash B and B pairing? No. That's not gonna work because that's our that's our governance token, Greek. That doesn't work, right? No, that won't work. No. And we don't Greek, even there's have 183 it yet. beautiful souls already watching us, bro. We're gonna have a big audience. Brian just shared it um on Discord. Oh, we did? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, I mean, your, listen, I know that there's a lot channel. of you guys. There's a, there's a lot of people. Um, he shared your he he shared your channel? No, yours. Oh, okay. And he said well, he might join, you never know. So who knows? Well, I, gotta, I, I gotta I gotta send him the, the invite to, for that to happen. Let me do that just in case he does decide to 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 jump on. Because I think we the, the the big question that we need to ask him, Greek, is the uh, the whole thing about um, the circulating supply, where's it going to go? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. how, how where, where are they going to pull from to get this? Is if it they say the circulating supply, no matter what, if this is done, stays at 60 million, then how can you be against it? But 27 million only would make this thing go nuts because you see, when we open, we're opening up at 60 million. We're going to have 60 million. And just because we have 27 million amongst us, it's still 60 million, though. That's really the actual cir circulating supply. It's just that the team owns 33 million, yeah. but 27 is of, of us. But if they did 27 on BSC, this thing might be like Bitcoin. I don't think it'll be like Bitcoin, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it just depends how much. Um, how much of that do you think will get bought up? Like really, because if it's nine dollars and. Let's say you get three million bought up. That's twenty-seven million coming in. That's a lot. Like, I don't. And I know a lot of people's fears are they're doing this to get your mind off of uh, potential delays, and everybody just assumes delays every time they. Why well, even think about that? Do you think that people think that that there's going to be a delay? I know, I know they think that because I've seen comments in the Discord, and that's why they're they view anything that's getting added or doing this like, oh, they're just doing this to get our minds off of a potential delay. I've seen that comment. Um, this does not mean delay. There's there's no like they can do this and still release in a month. 
It's just this would give them a chance to add liquidity and give you guys a chance. I know a lot of people are angry about vesting, but if you could actually like add to your bag and have a bigger bag and have more Vulcan upon day one that you could possibly sell when the price does spike, um, why wouldn't you take it? Benzies, it's open. I don't, like, I mean, you, you're not oh, in said, there though for some he reason. He said this um, prior to you opening it. Oh, okay. All right. He said this comment during the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What a dog shit idea says Swarov Sharma. <laughs> he said, "What a dog shit." People idea are not idea. for it, but if you're not for it, give a reason why you're not for it. Don't just say it's dog shit. Like, yeah. That doesn't tell me anything. Like the Greek looks like crap. Tell me reasons why I look like crap. I want to know. I, I don't can't think fix, like but I, I don't know. Look, I think you look fantastic. I think yeah. card man, man, he says this is going to be an interesting one. Okay. Well, that's not really an opinion, but that's true. It is going to be an interesting one. What's the subject? The subject is a proposal to go uh, live on BSC scan prior to the open of Vulcan blockchain itself with a token that is only 27 million in circulating supply on the BSC chain so that people could trade it and then bridge over when we open with whatever people have and whatever the price is, we would open at that. I think that's the sum of it, right? That's yeah. He's trying to push mainnet even further so he can keep making changes. Now, this is an opinion. Yeah. <clears throat> what, no what, more, what more do you think? So, uh, Swara, why don't you come on and, and talk to us, bro? Why don't you come on and talk to us about this? Matter of fact, let me put the link in the in the crowd for so people can come join us. And once again, Brian put this up to a vote, and the no's are really winning right now. So um, I put the link to the show down there in the comments. Um, you know, come on and, and let's have a discussion. You know, we're not going to be down on anybody that's against it. And, you know, like we're not going to be yelling and screaming. Just want to hear what you guys have to say. That's it. That's all it is. It's just our thoughts and opinions. Right, Greek? Yeah. Yeah. They, they want pressure will be missing and risk of dumping by pancake swap. Those who accumulated by this presale will dump. I forgot about pancake swap. Mm. Darn it. Damn pancake swap. Everybody just assumes dumping. Why? <laughs> like we have I, I just want to <laughs> say this. Like it's, it's really bugging me now with this community. Is everybody just assumes everybody is dumping? Does anybody in this freaking community have any balls and wherewithal to have to have like faith in this blockchain. It's like everybody thinks the blockchain is complete crap and they can't wait to get their money out. Nobody has this long-term sustainable like vision of the blockchain. But I yeah. don't Greek say the blockchain is going to be amazing and it's going to be sustainable and it's going to go for many years. But no, we're, we're maxis. We just love everything Brian does. That's what everybody ever thinks. I, I'm getting sick and tired of seeing people constantly. I can't wait. People are going to dump on us. People are going to dump on us. People are going to dump on us. Go ahead, you never get talk the hell out, the and then you'll be the one in five years saying, oh, my God, I own that. I could have had this much money. Don't look in the past because you're going to regret it. Sick of it. Well, everybody, we have Sky High and Chris Cruz that have joined us. I'm sure they have an opinion about this. Uh, Sergento says, before you guys may start making assumptions about what the token would do, can you all find out? Clarify what with Brian first exactly what it entails. Don't be bullish on it if we don't get the full gist of it. And there goes confirmant RM Con. Uh, uh, what do you think about this, bro? Um, I can say I'm just damn near intrigued. That's all I can say. But I mean, you've got to have at least some way. Which way you're leaning? Do you are you for this? Are you against this? Because I mean, I I don't see a problem with it. People are going to get to get more Vulcan. I mean, personally, I myself am, am, am against it, but um, as the live stream goes on, I'll, I'll give you guys some examples of why. Okay. You don't have anything that you can talk about. Now you drop that on us. You're, you're against it. Well, why would you <laughs> against it? What would be like your number one reason? Um, I would like I, I would like to say some arbitrage there in the beginning, especially because of the 5% the difference. People are going to be able to buy a lot of it or you know maybe not a lot who dep whatever you guys want to buy but without that five percent buy or five percent sell uh oh so that's yeah that's right it's definitely a way of skirting it beforehand and then being 
Who knows? Maybe they, they buy. You have to pay the five percent though when you bridge over. But you could just sell it on BSC before it launches. So who knows? Maybe all the hype for uh, Vulcan comes without those taxes in the beginning, and then right before mainnet launch, before liquidity gets taken, people sell. Thanks for the super chat. The first one, legendary bastard. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm sure Greg appreciates that. I don't know if it was on you or mine. I can't tell. Um, but there goes Chris Cruz and Sky High. Chris, How's what do you think guys? about this, bro? Um, I don't know. I am all for it because I can 3X my bag. But that, with that being said, that's just being a little greedy. So I think I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to listen to you guys and understand a little bit more of the details. But I was also thinking, some people that sacrificed, would this be a way for them to get out? That that don't want to wait for main net and all that and get out and recover, like, all the people that were complaining that, you know, that the vesting schedule would... Oh, no, I don't think those are, those are not available. No, unfortunately not. None of it? Okay, so no. that doesn't help them at all. So that, that's so the no. only thing I was thinking is that would this help them? But it doesn't. the only but problem being is that Brian stated that they are going to pull the price from whatever it was when they pull the liquidity. So if everyone sells off beforehand, um, <laughs> right, you're going to want to say, see the price dips to five dollars because they don't have that liquidity backing on PCS. So like it's not like us, you know, when we launch on day one, we have all the the sacrificers. Um, so on PCS, you're going to have whatever it's in there. People decide to take out like, you know, 70 to 75% of the, the, the liquidity, like, you know, say it rides up, you know, maybe price launches at 450. And since that price is tied to the coin, when it gets bridged over, you're in, inherently at a loss on first day of almost 50%. But not for people like me that get, yeah, to get Vulcan at even like half the price of what it's going to launch for. True. So that that to me encourages me, but then it's like you're hoping that Vulcan doesn't do well so that I could get more than other people will be out. So it's it's a tough that to me it's like <laughs> there, it's there's tough. just a lot of if ands or buts about this whole situation. Yeah. Well, I know where they're talking about the the buy pressure. This is not gonna kill buy pressure. Like we've talked about before, there the when the marketing goes into full swing, there's millions of people that don't even know crypto. I mean, a Vulcan blockchain exists, and they're going to get a view of it. And they're going to see what it is, and they're going to get excited and want to buy in. And uh, and then there's the other people that are that know about Vulcan, but they want to see how Vulcan performs for like the first month before they start buying in. They want to see us be successful. This is not going to harm buy pressure in any way. They, when they see Vulcan being successful, there's going to be a ton of buy pressure. And then we're going to be the talk of Twitter. We're going to be the talk of YouTube. We're going to be the talk of all those other platforms out there. They're going to be saying, look at this Vulcan coin. Look what it's doing. And people are going to FOMO in because they don't want to miss out on the next great thing as it's taken off. They're, the buy pressure is a non-issue here. So, Fowler, um, you haven't said anything. I mean, I'm not, I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he felt ready. I mean, I think it's a terrible idea, honestly. You guys can hear me well? Yeah, we yeah absolutely. I can't hear you at all, bro. In fact, let's get you off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, I think it's a, it's guy, it's guy. Both have sides, right? Like, I think it's a good idea. It could build liquidity, but again, it, then again, it could, like uh, Khan saying, it could take away liquidity as well. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of like everybody else. Uh, like, a hey, maybe we just need to focus on getting the main net, you know, but... It's not again, because you think that it's going to take away from buy pressure like Chris was just talking about and, uh, uh, and Sky? I mean, I was kind of thinking that way, right? Like, I was kind of thinking, like, all right, it might take away some of the buy pressures again. The but then again, it might. I mean, there's a lot of people that wanted to get into, like, the B&B sacrifice, right? This would have been a, another opportunity, right, to kind of just, like, have a way to be right. But then again, 
if the price is lower by the time mainnet comes out you're dealing with a lower price so and with less liquidity as well but what if it's like jacked up and the price comes out thank you vortex for the super sticker what if it comes out and like you know by the time we hit mainnet they transfer over and it's like at 90 dollars. benzies is here what's up benzies what do you think about this you wanted to come on uh because you want to voice your opinion the floor is yours brother well can you hear me yeah yeah nice talk about it. Like it. Uh, so i'm kind of like i guess it also with it but at the same time I'm like i'm i'm wondering like is it going to be a separate contract from the, the actual welcome welcome contract yes on the main yeah, yeah, right, right, right before yeah, launch, be on they'll, they'll, take, they'll take the liquidity out and bring it over. The way I'm thinking of, so the way I'm thinking of it is like this, like, I think it's going to be like another safe rule in, in terms of, all right, it's, it's going to be a release, then fall behind it, it's going to be like a whole bunch of, like, scam products coming back to back, back to back, behind the, behind that launch. Say again, bro. I didn't, I didn't quite understand. You say it again, Benzies. Uh oh, oh, we lost him. Oh no, he had the whole thing ready for. He was going to solve the entire thing, Greek. I think he was going to solve the case. I, I think that you're just going to fi be finding the biggest issue with the fact that people are going to be able to buy the token without tax, especially, and then they might be able to skirt getting out of it without the five percent. If they say it rides up to ninety dollars, like Daniel's saying, right before launch, because that means that they would have to pull the liquidity for it at ninety dollars, and the price will be yeah. But that $90. liquidity would be involved in that BSC chain too, so like they'd be able to pull that and and use that. Like, well, they, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I'm it's saying. not going to just what come over at ninety dollars, and now we have this little tiny liquidity that we that would come over with it. You know how we were all worrying about day one drop off well even with people getting a two and a half percent say it's worth ninety dollars they just 10x their original thought process of nine dollars so yeah you're, you're you're creating a whole nother slew of things besides trading before the uh, main net comes out yeah i'm leaning towards that this is i i I, the, I got i got some questions here why does brian want to do this okay I, I don't I I don't I, I would be I would like marketing to popularity trying to get yeah. the word out just getting people to talk about it things like but, this but then I think he runs into a problem of um you you launch this and what if it it, it I, I it just you're running into issues that I think that uh, what if this becomes an issue like uh, Vulcan gets a bad name on Binance or something and it's it's it, it didn't go well or there's there's all kinds of issues that, I mean, why run the risk? Just focus on the, the blockchain and move forward. I, I'm i not seeing it. It's a great opportunity. I would love to, you know. Three to rack up more. But but you run into so many issues. And what if it doesn't launch right, you know, and then there's issues with uh, buys and sells and, and all kinds of stuff. And then it gets it gives more fuel to the futters. Chalk Talk says, hi, guys. Yeah, my question is about circulating supply, which would then potentially change our flex claim, or do I got it backwards? No, you're right. If they add it to the circulating supply, then our percentage changes if they add it to the circulating supply. But I don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah. Like in, in the end. like you know, yeah, we, we, we don't know that yet. And I'm just well, looking yeah, at this a way of getting more, getting more. You have a chance to get more for everybody complaining that they don't have enough to sell or those wishing they could have gotten more at nine dollars. OK, you yeah, have the that small chance. bags should be excited. Yeah. Everybody that's sitting under a thousand Vulcan should be excited because now you can get your bag up where your where your flex is going to be way better. Right. Um, I, just, I just don't see I really don't see the issue. I mean, tax us to let us pay the five percent tax. What if he throws a five percent buy and sell tax? So they're creating, they're creating, they're getting taxes in the way. So there's not that inherent advantage going over, right? I mean, because the liquidity on the on the CEXs and everything stays with the CEX. That shouldn't affect us at all. Invest in yourself. Said putting Vulcan on BNB is like giving me a jet without engines. <laughs> That's a good one. 
That's funny. You're just gliding, right? It's not really going to do much for you. But it still will be fun. You're up in the air flying. <laughs> Spotty RJ, well, if this BSC Vulcan price tanks, then we open lower than $9. Possible us holders get shafted initially. Yeah, that might be true, too. But I don't think it goes to under $9. I don't know. That... I think that there would be a lot of uh, excitement for this if this were to happen. Blockchain, why don't you come on, bro? I mean, I feel like if you're buying this, this link is BNB, up there. If you're buying this vol on BSC, you're buying it for the thought process of gaining for your bag. So, like, are people really going to buy it and be like, "Oh, I'm going to wait for it to go and sell"? Like, come on, we have. I know there's going to be short-term buyers like that, but like, I would be buying it for the whole reason of adding to my bag which then, in theory, would increase that price and start us at a higher level. But then I also see, without the taxes, you can kind of get a skirt around it, what Khan is saying. But I see just more positives, and I, I don't know. Um, I, I agree. I think the majority of the people that buy it are going to be people that want to impre increase their position for the flex in the power pool and for their rebase. I would like to see a weighted vote on this and see how that would turn out. Okay, because well, the vote that Brian put in the Discord was overwhelmingly a no. Yeah, yeah. If the weighted vote's different. Like you know, you have one big hole. You have the big holders. So what? What if they want to add? What if they want to throw some more cash in? Uh -huh. If it, if uh, I mean, my vote would be no. I mean, I, I don't want to be mean or anything like that. But I mean, we we had we had the vote for you know doing another sacrifice and stuff like that. That one shocked me. Yeah, and I would love to double, triple my bag. <laughs> but then I'm thinking, this takes away from the Vulcan launch and all the the hype and all the marketing and everything that's been going on. I know that people wish it was launched now, but I think that we need this time for them to get everything right. And I think that um, I think that the marketing will just hype it up even more. I, I mean, that's, and I think this might distract from the Vulcan launch, the, uh, the blockchain launch. Yeah, that's the only thing, man. Like, that makes, that's what makes me wonder about it a little bit, too. I'm just wondering about the circulating supply, where it's going to come from. That's right. the only thing that worries me. That was a question I had. Now, if we can get some answers and obviously, there's... yeah, like if Brian, if you're listening, bro, can you just like throw something at us here? Benzi, sorry that you, you dropped out, bro. Another sacrifice would be okay with B&B. &B. How about that, though? Have people changed their minds about that? Greek, you think? And 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 well, Maybe and, they're uh, viewing this and going, well, if he's going to do this, maybe we should just go to B&B &B sacrifice. That guarantees it, you know? Yeah, a B&B &B extravaganza would be great. And I always thought to... that that would be fantastic. I think yeah, that would be Yeah, then you don't great. even have to worry about uh, CEX or any of that other stuff going on. It would Perhaps. pretty much just be for the people that are already here. And like we said, you can increase your bag and increase your position for everything else. Now, everybody just understand something. This is this is something that he threw out today. I'm, I'm like mostly for it. The only thing that I'm worried about is the circulating supply. But if that if this were to if this were to change and maybe start introducing the idea of a and b extravaganza, as opposed to this, so that people can maybe load up a little bit more. Would you guys be interested in that? Because I'm, I'm still for that if that were to happen. But that's just me, Chris. A uh, thousand percent. Yeah. If, if, yeah, if any, any the circulating supply is going to go up anyway when the new buyers start coming in. It's, any, it's any opportunity happen. for me to get, no, the circulating supply is not going to go up. Any any opportunity for me to get more Vulcan before launch without affecting. You know it, it, the the marketing, the launch, or anything like that. I I am all for. I am a hundred percent for. No, you know, I don't think you're getting what I'm saying, Prado. The I understand the the new coins are not minted. They're coming from the treasury. What I'm talking mm -hmm. about, like we sitting, we're sitting at twenty seven million about for the holders, right? Yeah. As you add those coins that. from the treasury to new wallets, that supply is going up. That's what I'm talking about. Do we hold so, all of those, Greek? All twenty-seven what? million. Do we hold all those twenty-seven million forty thousand? Yeah. Oh, so then it would have to be taken from the treasury then. Yeah. Whatever, exactly. whatever the whatever the B and B extravaganza would just come out of it. Yeah. So then our percentage would go down a little bit. 
but it would go yeah. down a lot. Yeah, I, I can understand that, right? Yeah, it would take a lot. Like you're thinking, if uh, nine million dollars came in, that would only add a million, so then we'd be at twenty eight million on our end. Yeah, um, so for B and B extravaganza, it takes a lot of money, obviously, for buying them at nine dollars, and you're not doing any bonuses. Which, if we did a B and B extravaganza right now, I don't think there would be any bonuses because it's just we don't need it. And yeah, we, they don't we need don't to be have a, bonus. a lot of buy But then you got to remember too, when when we launch, there's still going to be some of them people who are going to sell their two point five percent. So it's going to wash out in the end. We're going to go right back down to twenty seven million in holder circulating supply. Yeah, I just looked at the vote. We are at 32 yeses, 238 no's. So, <laughs> so bro, this is not good. Bro, they, is they not don't bad. like our ideas. They don't, they're not with us. Brian they're not with us. On this one. I mean, yeah. it, it was discussed more from by the team. And if they sat down and explained everything that everybody's asking about, you know, the liquidity, the, the taxes, the circulating supply, and kind of alleviated a little bit of what's going on in people's minds, then. They, it could very well change the vote, but right now we're all really speculating because we we don't know how all that stuff's going to shake out. I seriously think now that we're vested, if you threw the BNB sacrifice vote, maybe people would be like, "Oh, I can add to my bag and have more." I said you anything, Greek? That that's more what would points. They would be more excited about this because now they're like, "Oh, I'm." They thought they had access to everything to sell, and they were so worried about sell pressure. That's what a lot of people during the last BNB vote were worried about. <laughs> we had more in circulation, more for people to dump on us. Now they can't dump on you, and you know the price can go up. Don't you want these coins now at nine dollars? I want them at nine dollars. I want. Well, Brian says the BNB sacrifice instead. I never thought of that. I'm a, I I am unsure if the community would want this. You remember the last vote? Was a landslide against it, it that was. was held weeks ago. So that that was thing. primarily because everybody thought that it was going to push the delay of the launch further back, even though it wouldn't have. That's the biggest issue. Everybody thinks that the either way you do this, we're going to oh yeah they're going to launch later. This this is a it's going to make us go longer and longer. That and is the fear on a lot of people. I've heard that. Yeah. The Raven says this is simply a, a distraction, no more, no less. Doesn't look like a distraction to me. Everybody else is uh, talking about this. I mean, I, I guess from uh, from what the, uh, the 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 twelve month thing is that what it is? Is that what he is that what he's talking about, Greek? Yeah, yeah. The I don't think that he would do something like this to to, to distract us. This is this is pretty serious, in my opinion. I, I, you know, I was, you don't throw something out like this. Yeah, and there's no reason. I see a lot of people in Discord like dissing those who are for it. Like, you can't diss somebody because they want to add to their bag because they have, they have those intentions. Like, it just because you don't want it, say, say reasons why you're against it. Don't don't just call people for it names and stuff, and don't say Greeks only for it because he's a maxi whatever. No, I want to add to my bag. I've constantly wanted to add to my bag. Okay, given those opportunities, I'm taking them. Rob so, asks, what did you vote when it came out? Because you said B&B makes more sense. And then again, I believe the vote will be the same. Did you vote against it before, but now you would vote for it? Because that's an example of how things change. You see that? No, Rob. Rob's just like me. He he voted for it. Well, he did. Okay. Yeah. We just, everybody that was for it got voted down because there was a, a huge misunderstanding about there being a delay. And there wouldn't have been a delay. It can run right alongside the test net as it's being done, and it'll not delay anything. Yeah, they could technically do it and say, "We'll open this up in a week, and it will last a week. That won't affect anything, it's, you know." And it, the coins come out of the treasury, and nobody will be the wiser. No, Rob says, uh, "Don't like the idea." The only thing is that makes sense is that we need money. How bad do we need money? Are we in danger? What is the reason for vesting? Then, how about pancake swap? How about the hype? No votes. So well, I, this isn't going to happen. You know, like we're talking about it now. It's like, like he just he just put it out there. There goes blockchain poodles. What's, What's up, up, poodles? Yo. So this is but how like do we need the money? I don't I don't think we're bad on liquidity. I think we're good for the liquidity to open the way we are gonna open. The liquidity will be added with buyers that come in. 
from day one and on. Like I, I don't think that we're bad with liquidity now. It would add more liquidity, more being a B and B extravaganza, but a lot. It would add a lot, yeah. But I don't think that we're in need of any liquidity right now. I think yeah, we're the Ethereum, the Ethereum extravaganza was held down because so many people don't. I, I don't like Ethereum. I don't like their gas fees. I don't like the difficulty of having to. I think go we over double up that Ethereum stock. I think we double up that Ethereum though. Oh we yeah, get a easily. million at least. One point two million, one point four million, in sacrifice with BNB. Don't you think if we if we did that? I see, yeah, I, I see us doubling that. Poodles, what's up, man? What do you think about this? Well, I mean, I kind of am with the majority of the community. I, I just don't think that that we should waste any time or money on any other kind of side project and focus 100% completely on Vulcan. Uh, well, hey, brother, I don't think it's anything about money and stuff like that. I think it's more so just giving they're they're trying to focus on letting other people be able to trade the the token before it comes out, which is the majority of it. It's not gonna take any time away from development, but it just gives no, people money. another way to trade beforehand. Oh, okay, but I, I'm saying that money has to be go into building a token on on Binance Smart Chain. They have to they have to do that. I, I just saw that the idea of having another sacrifice that on the other hand i'm not i'm not i'm not against that you did know you vote, did you vote for that before or against it what having another sacrifice yeah i i missed the vote but if i were to vote i would have voted for another why not you know let, let I, i'm not i'm no, not I was hoping that you said no that you didn't vote for it that's why because i want to get people who said that they voted against it and do they vote for against it this time, knowing with what we have, because before poodles, we didn't have a vest thing. We didn't have any of that stuff. And now that there's, now that all these things have changed, I think people's minds have changed about maybe picking up some more, some more Vulcan with a sacrifice. I think that that would go over a little bit differently. Every, everyone's opinions are going to change as time goes on. I just don't think that if there's a, a slight possibility for this new token to launch, if there's a possibility in any way that it could do anything negative towards our launch price, towards 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 anything, that I'd rather just not mess with anything that could possibly hurt us. Yeah, I agree with him completely on that. And that's and, that, and that's unfortunately going to be a part of it. If they do launch a coin on BSC, you don't know what the hell is going on with yeah. that. It could go up to freaking four or five hundred dollars. So, I can't argue right before that. launch is dump, and then everyone gets like a lower shitty price of below. I can't argue with that. No. You should have said something else because then I'd be able to argue with possibility in, in hurting us in any way. I'm a hundred percent against anything possibly hurting us. Why couldn't yeah, you, you run the risk for, you, you run the risk of reputation. I you don't you I don't know. I don't know if anything would happen, but reputation wise this could be <laughs> uh, th this launching this on uh Binance um there's so many different things that could happen. It, it could all backfire and before we even launch the blockchain Vulcan's got some type of reputation because Futters came in and made it made something out of it. Brian, can you just come out and say that we need we're short on liquidity? We need to do something. Community would be more behind these ideas. I don't. That's not what he's saying. Well, hey, you got you got to think about it at the same time. I I, I just want to say, brothers, <laughs> you hundred percent are. You you gave. You know, we have everyone got three x what they invested. Obviously, that liquidity isn't there. Hence, the vesting period. So, right. <laughs> I guess any other way to raise money, yeah, you can. It just yeah. make it a little bit easier. For you know people to sell, but the, yeah, no, for him to come out and say we're short in liquidity would be an understatement. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that, Harris, that's, that's why the vesting period exists. <laughs> that's true. Uh, Cedric Harris says have a guaranteed release date, and I'm all for it. I'll tell you what, right now, confirmant. Um, how about this? And poodles, I think that the fact that Brian might even be thinking about this means that this thing is already ready to go. They're just they're just doing some tweaks. What do you what do you think about that? I I think that like you know, I don't the 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 question was asked in the Discord, and um, the community heavily outweighed in the favor of not doing this than doing it. The majority is spoken. Yeah, yeah they spoke, but it was an uneducated answer. 
they don't know what any of this means to the blockchain. Nobody does. We okay, but we're, we, we, we're do know, we do know that there's a possibility of something not going right. That's a possibility. The possibility is there. That is there. That and is I don't want to. I would rather have a BNB sacrifice. Uh, Thirty-three to two fifty-eight right now. That I. I that, that that comment that Jamie R just put up makes yeah I said B and B sacrifice were to happen those people should be included in the vesting which hundred percent is true. Oh I, I agree yeah I would be a part. But of like that. I, I can't find an example as I was trying to find like the only thing I can compare this to would be an IOU which would be trading before the blockchain goes live and then as you guys can tell what was the last one that happened a couple days ago that dropped like ninety five percent and then I had another one that was called FLR that traded on. IOUs that went basically went from two dollars to three cents upon launch. I mean, there's, I, I I don't know how to I don't know how else to put it. It's just in my eyes, this this overall is not a good idea. Poodles and everybody that might be concerned about the release date, uh, Brian said it here in the Discord. So far, it seems the majority of you are against the idea with the assumption that it would only cause delays, which is not the case. Yeah, this our this, focus yeah. on the blockchain uh, of the blockchain is unaltered, and Q2 release would be unaffected. FYI, how about that? Yeah, this this is has nothing to do with my. This is just my personal opinion. Not have anything to do with being worried about their original plan. This only has to do with the the possibilities of something getting changed or or done in it that will affect our blockchains anything if it affects us in any way negatively i'm against it and there's a possibility of that happening yeah I and agree I, I think that if, if we launch uh as planned as with the vesting with with all the you know st strategic things that we're doing for for vulcan i wouldn't want to put a possibility in the way of hurting something that we are emotionally invested in, financially invested in, uh, you know, I just don't want to take a chance of something possibly going wrong. Mm. I see. I see everyone got you agreeing with you. Where's everyone agreeing with me? <laughs> Poodles. Hey, no you one's agreeing with me in Prado, okay? No yeah, nobody's agreeing with me. So that's Listen, uh, I will Chris say this. Me, confirm it. I, me, confirm it, and Chris seem to be on the side of a lot of things can happen. Yeah. And, you know, I just well, I mean, y'all y'all are bringing up excellent points, and, and I would be against the pink sale because of that. But yes. how about the how about a B and B sacrifice? Yeah, that that makes much more sense to me and add it to the well, vesting. If, That's what if I would yeah, do. if 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 it was added to the vesting, I I would. Well, that's the reason it. everyone had a problem with it before is because it wasn't going to be vested, and people could and you know dump on day one if they wanted to with the BNB sacrifice. But now, if they add it to the vesting period with everyone else, then that doesn't pose a risk. Do you think yeah, that Brian that. Did, is doing this? Now, this is just me in the back of my mind. Do you think Brian brought this up and is talking about this because? With the vesting schedule coming out, he's trying to figure a way where some people, since we're vesting and everything, could make something off Vulcan in the meantime. I I think that um, that the entire community of original people that have been part of this from from Seifu on to Vulcan should matter. The people, the people that have been in this long term, the people that have believed in it, the people that have built the liquidity. For all of this together collectively, we should matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree with that. But I also think, like Brian, you know, maybe <coughs> bringing the vesting and all that kind of stuff. Maybe he was trying to come up with an idea that maybe could relieve some of the pressure of the people that are upset about the vesting, and that's why he came up with it. Because to me, this is completely out of left field. I was like, I was not expecting anything like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is out of left field. Okay, you guys have convinced me. The community is obviously against this. Okay, I was just my for my personal reasons of growing my bag. I'm willing to look at just 
overlook any negatives well, that might occur. Powerful, with this. We've got the flexing. Yeah. We've got, we've so got five I'm looking, I'm looking to, to increase my bag because I want to increase my passive income yeah. strategy moving yeah. forward. So, like for me, selfish reasons, yeah. I will say for just the increase of my bag because I got a big bag. That I, I got a big side bag right now that I'm saving up for main net launch that I'm going to buy in. I was just thinking if I could do it now at nine dollars, I'd be all for that. Now I understand the community is completely like it's not even close. I'm looking at this vote. We actually lost a vote in the last 20 minutes. We haven't gained any <laughs> votes. It's now 32 to 268. Okay, I'm a man of the people. I just want extra vault for myself. So so don't hate the Greek because he he's like this is one time where I was looking at it for personal reasons that I want more vol for myself. Yeah. Okay. Because I believe in this project moving forward. I'm not too worried about what might happen with the swing and, and price going forward because I think it will stabilize and whatever. But I was looking for myself. So the community says no, obviously. So fine. For once, I'm not for this idea anymore because the community seems to hate it. It just creates turmoil. You guys brought up great points. Um, so I don't want the idea anymore. But a BMB like sacrifice, it. I'd be for it. I'd be I for it. Fantastic. Yeah, because well, a BNB sacrifice is you're you're getting full value because we're gonna pay nine dollars for a nine dollar coin. Yeah. And no it. bonus. Don't put any bonus in there so we're not creating any inflation with free tokens and make it very short. It doesn't have to go for a whole month or even a week. It could be a 48 hour B and B sale and just let it be over with. Exactly. Um, yeah. it we, would not hurt at all. No bonus, and have no more liquidity. That idea I'm more I'm more for that idea than, yeah. than, than going on on the if whole this, chain. If this is a no, I'm still gonna buy back I'm gonna buy in on mainnet launch, whatever the price is. Yeah, I'll just yeah. take and it. And invest it, like like Chris said, vest it. Vest, Make yeah. sure it's vested. Bam. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. And you could even make it longer to me. <laughs> I want my percentage <laughs> up. No, don't get a make it that way now. Have to, really. Uh we're going to be great. I'm telling you that buy pressure is going to be outrageous, especially yeah. when people see this thing working and everybody's talking about, look at my flex. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to show my flex and put it on Twitter and everything. And people are going to be able to see, hey, I just made more money than I made in a damn week oh, working God. in my job in one single day with a click of a button. And that's going to excite people. And they're going to see hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of us putting these videos up on Twitter, showing the Twitter community what Vulcan does. And you don't think they're going to be by pressure? People are going to be coming in droves. Oh, yeah. Organic marketing. Melanin Delight says exactly. She said, if it's not broken, then don't fix it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, out, I'm totally outnumbered here now. You know, <laughs> I feel I feel I'm just deflated. looking at the numbers. You know, I'm a numbers guy. And when we lose, we were at 33 votes. Now we're at 32. And the no votes. What if we get the 34 up. votes? Daniel, Daniel, listen, I'm still on your side. You're just wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> so I'm wrong and Poodle is right. And this time, this time, only one person's clicked the Greek emoji and it's me. Okay, Ooh. last time I had 32 clicks on the BNB oh, sacrifice yeah. one. So they're not even like, they're just so angry at me. They're just like, I won't even click that Greek emoji. I'm so mad at you. <laughs> I'm not for the token, but I'm for the BNB sacrifice, says Val. Nice. Okay. Hey. Mike Purdy says, coin market cap is not Brian Legend friendly. A pre launch, that's not true for Mike Purdy. That's coin, that's coin Joko. Coin Gecko is not. A pre-launch would open the door mass to massive FUD and the and the Vulcan brand prior to mainnet launch. If you're talking about the FUDers on there, yeah, they like, yeah. won't care about what they say though. But the, when it came to those those uh, those pages, the one that was putting a warning for for Seipu was Coin Gecko, not not Coin Market Cap. And, and, and a lot of the community needs to understand that a lot of the FUD that we're getting. Those are other projects that are scared of Vulcan. The, the, the Hex people, the Sheba, Iberium people and all that, the, you know, the new safe moon is coming out. They go in and they FUD other projects and then try yeah. to hype their stuff. That's yeah, a lot of the FUD is because they know what's fixing to happen when, when Vulcan launches. They're fixing to lose out big time. That's the great thing about Twitter. When you tweet something, if you don't delete it in time, 
people can go back and look and I've looked at all these fudders and they and they openly say that. Yeah, I fud because I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get the price down so I could buy more. They yeah, that say. one that one guy he he put it out there straight out that he was fudding Safe Moon to get yep. to build his bag. He wanted the price to drop so he could build his bag. So that's, that's why what I always told everybody, don't listen to these fudders. They don't give a crap about you. They're not trying to help anybody. They're that's why to help I don't themselves. agree with, with this this other launch because you just open the door to that all that Vulcan, you know. Uh, you know, get they're gonna the, fud anyway. I mean, it's, they, it's they not can't. even what are they gonna it's fud not even about? about Vulcan, it's about about them being scared of Vulcan. Yeah, but if they, if if what are they gonna fud about the Vulcan blockchain prior to our launch? Yeah, they're just gonna say the same old stuff. But if you're we're launching something on BNB and there are issues or something does come up, then it's just going to give them more fuel before we even launch the blockchain. So that's my thing is don't mess with that. Talk about some extravagance. It is a risk. Or just it is a risk. Or well, just, I, I mean, I agree. You know, the pink sale thing, we can just go ahead and scrap that right off right now. <laughs> Eric B says, Daniel X Prado, why, what is, it, what is your reasoning for still saying yes? It is it is selfishness as well because the ba the bag growth and BSC is cheaper than ETH or BTC. What is he talking about? I don't understand that comment. I don't want people to think it's selfishness for wanting more vol. It's like just a, like I it's just my belief. But if the community doesn't want it, I can't go against the community. I'm just I just want more vol. It's what right. I mean, we all do on the BSC we chain, and we call it Vulcan. I know. <laughs> Are you willing to accumulate more vol at a possible risk of it hurting the the coin, the Vulcan no. coin? That, that is where I will say no. you made great points, and mm -hmm. actually you convinced me on that um, that part of it. I was just thinking for my personal reasons. I wasn't looking at all the negatives that could happen. I was looking at, okay, I can increase my bag. And so I will give it to you. That yeah, man, that's where talking about it, without yelling at each other and calling each other's names like they're doing in the Discord, but having a, a grown-up conversation like we're all People doing right now. Names I don't want to hear else, though. Yeah, it changes minds. And once once Chris, Confirmant, and Poodles express their points, they, they changed my mind because I was for the pink cell. But now I'm not. Prado would because have been his savior if he just came out in Discord and said, I hate this. Let's not do it. Everybody yeah. like, Prado's the man, and Prado would have been so happy. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, the BNB sacrifice. I, I went to the wrong side of this, I guess. Yeah, the BNB sacrifice. Well, what are your reasons still then, Daniel? You're the only one that still thinks that way. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that it would give us uh, a tremendous press uh, because a lot of people are going to be talking about it. What is this happening? You know, yeah, FUD is bad, but it's also – you know, uh, it's also press, right? Like when people start talking about you, they want to find out what's going on. Yeah. People Brian, are start looking into this, you know. Brian is going to take care of all of the press. Brian is a genius when it comes to marketing and, and putting our name out there. So whether we have a little bit of press with something on the side, I, I'm calling this a side token. I, I'd rather direct our attention on the main token. We that, That's, you know... The side token sounded good briefly to some people, but you know the possibility of it hurting my main my main girl. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have a possibility of anything possibly hurting the main one that we care about the most. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, marketing will be done in an ingenious way. And it'll be done in a way that we're going to flourish. I'm sure of this. The marketing of the side token will, I don't know. I don't see any, any reason to believe in something that could possibly hurt us. Do you, think, do you, do you think that he did this for us to be okay with vesting, with, uh, with like a sacrifice? I don't maybe know, maybe that was never going. Like maybe it was just a way of pushing us into another sacrifice that we could add more liquidity into the project. If that's it, I'm I'm all for it. Heck yeah. I think I think yeah. inadvertently, I think everyone now has agreed. Hey, that'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. The great thing about BNB sacrifice is if you're worried about it, like I get, there's still going to be people that are like it's lowering my percentage, but you have the option to buy and add to your percentage. If you don't choose to do that, that's on. You ultimately, I mean, I mean, it would make sense then if you were to implement a uh, do another sacrifice, have it a part of your vesting, 
because then you don't have to worry about day one dumpers like that because everyone's only able to do their two and a half percent and then it's locked in for 12 months i mean that inadvertently i think is probably the genius move if i because now i'm thinking about it because i think he knew everyone may not like this idea but kind of grabbed gra grabbed grabbed onto the idea of another sacrifice but now everyone knows the vesting exists maybe that would be the way of going about it in my opinion very good idea so i just added the question to a poll that's there uh, in the in the live chat would you be in favor of a B and B sacrifice, yes or no? Ooh, got to vote. So See, that, this, my, this, this is my thought process. This is why I think that I think this is why this 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 began. I think it's so that people were more were more accepting of another sacrifice to add liquidity to a project that does need it. But is this sacrifice that if we potentially have, what are the benefits to this sacrifice? Is We're just there adding liquidity to the project? That's all it's doing. Okay, but is this, is this sacrifice going to give the people who sacrifice now more benefits than if they were to have sacrificed prior? I don't no. think so. It's just gonna, I think you're just going to no. be buying the token, the equivalent to nine dollars. You're not getting any extras based on that at all. I think it's just right. Be no bonuses. Twelve months. Well, if that's the case, then there is no logical reason for anyone to sacrifice now than to just buy it on day one well, because you're going to be buy it on guaranteed day one or nine dollars so that's the thing you're guaranteed yeah, you're, you're not, buying the you're not at $9. guaranteed a nine dollar price because on day well, one you can't no no but what i'm saying is is if people sacrifice today and there's no benefit for sacrificing today it doesn't make sense to sacrifice today well, it doesn't have to be almost every blockchain doesn't well, do that they, the, they don't even give you an extra the percentage. benefit of a sacrifice yeah, now is you're getting a guaranteed no, you guys, you guys nine dollar price you're you guys are understanding what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you sacrifice today, I'm not saying a benefit as in like, are, are we getting any bonuses or anything like okay. that? Uh, what, what I'm saying is if we sacrifice today, are we able to use the coins that we sacrifice today without any without any kind of vesting? Are no. we oh, no. I think I, would have to have it. No, the vesting would still be in place. Else. So yeah. then, well, I mean, so, if you look at it though, but that's not if the we're, if we're gonna do a, if they do a BNB sacrifice and we pay a full nine dollar price and we don't get any bonus tokens on top of it, there's no difference in and not if you don't have the vesting, it's no difference from a new buyer because full liquidity went in from the BNB sacrifice. So that's why the new buyers are not affected with the vesting because they're gonna be paying full price for whatever they buy. And it's going to add full liquidity to the blockchain. So it wouldn't matter if it was vested or not, because if it gets sold, it's not going to harm the, the liquidity we have now because they're going to be putting in full liquidity. Yeah, I, I, I see your side of it. But what I'm trying what I'm saying is what is the incentive to sacrifice now if if. If I mean, I'm just talking about like an intelligent investor that is going to look to invest into this project. If there's no incentive to sacrifice now and you're looking at sacrificing now and still having the money that you're sacrificing now vested, it only makes sense to wait till day one, see price action and then go from there. You yeah, know? but then you're not going to be guaranteed a nine dollar price. I mean, yeah, I, I think I, th I see what you're saying, but, uh, Poodles. I see what you're saying, but you 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 got to understand that investors like me, I'm looking for getting my percentage up. And yeah, you're telling me if today I was able to spend X amount of dollars to get my percentage X amount up, and as opposed to when it launches that day, I'm going to spend a certain amount of dollars, you know, to, to buy into it, arm. but the price is way higher than nine. So my percentage is going to go up, but not as much as it would if I sacrifice today, I would yeah. sacrifice right now because my focus is the percentage of what I own. Not. That's, 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 that's yeah. why I'm asking. What is, what is the benefits? What, what is what are the benefits of sacrificing today? There's only one benefit. There's only one benefit to sacrifice now would be to increase the the amount. It's not even it, it's actually I'm going to pay more than what my percentage is now, but if you you do the math, the way I see it right now without putting any pen to paper, 
I would be able to increase my percentage at a price that I feel that it will never be at again after it launches. You're and there's also, there's there's also that five percent buy either. Maybe it yeah. waives that five percent fee as well. And I just That's put the I was gonna say on my page two, as there's, well. There's at least two more, and the five percent is gone. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and then there's also like Benzie says, you you're not paying you, when you when, if you wait, you're not paying nine dollars on day one. I know that I know that you think that it's not going to be that much of a difference, poodles. But it is going to be. It's going to be a gigantic difference. It's probably going to be 15, 20, 30, whatever it is on that opening, on those opening moments. It's not going to be nine dollars. One person with the vesting. This, this 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 may be so. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say, right. you know, because because this is all speculation. We don't know what, exactly where the price is going to go immediately yeah. to launch. So I'm just saying from an investor's side of it. You know, you, you could you could buy it now. Uh, I guess if they have a sacrifice, it's going to be for nine dollars a token, correct? Yeah, um, I would yes. assume. Yeah. Okay, so for nine dollars a token, you sacrifice now uh, on launch day. In in my opinion, in my just in my opinion, I know that my opinion is different than than a lot of other people's opinions. But what I, I'm saying is, for me, if I was coming into this project and I saw everything that was going on with it. Me, I, I would want to seriously just hold back, take a couple of breaths, and see what the chart does first. Because right. knowing that, I know that we're vested for only two point five percent, and that's and that's great. That that you know, a lot of people can't dump all of their bags and get all of that money out of the protocol. That's excellent for the protocol. It's excellent for us, even though I didn't feel like that before. But now, you know, you made me see what this project can do for me greek made me see you guys let me see that it is absolutely the best thing to do is to vest the project but we also have to keep in mind that all of those people that are disgruntled with this because they are people that are disgruntled that haven't changed their way of thinking and seeing that it really is for the betterment of of everybody listen brian's forcing us to make a lot of money slowly instead of possibly getting a lot of money quickly and then being rid of, of being a part of this, you know? So he's really doing the best thing for all of us, whether people see that or not. But as far as investing into this project again with another sacrifice, and this is me just speaking for the community. It's not for the project. I'm speaking for the investors that want to put money into this. I personally would want to relax and see what the price action does first. You know, because there is a possibility that it goes up, but there's also a possibility that all those people that want to sell their 2.5%, they do that. And there might be, and if you really want to be selfish and accumulate more vol, and I do, I do want to accumulate more vol. I, I would say, you know, my, this is, and again, this is just my opinion. My bet is, is that all those people that want to take their 2.5%, take it there's a slight dip in 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 the price in the in the early hours and then everybody buys that dip up quick that's smart that's just my opinion you know you pull that we have right now real quick the poll that we have right now is at 55% yes and 45% no with 112 votes in i'm going to yeah. end that poll put up mine, another one mine's 56% yes on my I think channel with 34 votes yeah, you saw Chalk's comment. I'm gonna put up another I think one. It would depend on the circulating supply how that would uh, affect that. So here's the, how the, I the would... team would really have to think about it and give us yeah. an, an exact science to how it would affect the circulating supply. And um, here's what our... I would think would happen: whatever is created, let's say you get nine million dollars, <laughs> and that would be a million coins added in circulating supply. They would take that out of the treasury's thirty-three million, so now I you would have twenty-eight they, million. In our supply. And yes, if you did not add yeah. to your bag during the BNB sacrifice, your percentage would go down ever so slightly. And I know that it does affect everybody. So I get why some yeah. would say no if they're not hoping to add. But there's also the adding at $9 when we don't know what the price is going to do. And this thing could jump. If this thing jumps, we're all going to wish we had this opportunity. But I know I understand that we don't know. It's the unknown. Um I'm willing to vest it if I did it because just because it would just I'm just looking at this from a perspective of adding for my flex and power pool just like Chris is. Um, but I get why people 
And the vote is actually pretty pretty interesting vote so far. I didn't ex expect 56% to say yes. So now we're at a new question, Greek. It says, will you sacrifice knowing that you will be vested? And right now it's off to an early lead for yes at 59% to 41%. I mean, these are people that are in- 37 votes in. In yeah. the gung-ho yeah, you're already in, in Vulcan, you're already in Vulcan. No, there's a lot of people against stuff in here, too, uh, Poodles. It's very, it's, it's, this is what you get on my last nerve, because you make good points all the time, and you, like, I, I just don't want you to talk anymore. Because <laughs> what you were saying, I'm like, I completely agree with him now. Wait a minute. Maybe it's, Which one? it's not the sacrifice. He's talking to me, bro. Oh. Now, of course, yeah, I think, no, I think he's talking the to the day, and that's the problem you're going to have is like, I thought the better of the two, e the, the lesser of the two evils, rather, it would be the sacrifice. But at the same time, the sacrifice does um, increase circulating supply and all that stuff. Yeah, um, and, and I do agree. Yeah, I understand what Poodles is saying with that. Yeah. And I, well, I it like... increases the holder circulating supply, not the yeah. circulating supply. So right. I want that out there. We'll yeah. Still be at 60. It's just where it's divvy. Yeah. Up. It's just what, what what's available. Yeah. Yeah. Ochi Aduchi says, guys, please stop fussing the issue. Uh, the community does not like this. It's too risky. Let's move on. If we need liquidity, let's get it from Uxie pre-sale. I disagree with you. The, the community does, is not against this. In fact, it's 59% yes, even with the vesting. Yeah, and uh, the so Uxie that's pre wrong would give Uxie Uxie token you liquidity. Way. You know, Uxie token's got to have its own liquidity and stuff. And that's so a token on this. Yeah, that has nothing to do with Vulcan's oh. liquidity. So I want people to know that 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 would. We'll Andrew see how that's giving up. Point two, Daniel, you can bring up his his message. I'm sorry, who's Hendrix? He no has one up there. No, we're not doing that. I'm just playing. <laughs> I thought he was serious. I'm like, bro, <laughs> which one, Chris? Oh, there it is. He's yelling at us. Yeah, Sacrifice yeah. reduces, in my opinion, day one. By precept pressure, also no no rewards brings in more coins into circulation. Also, no taxes that can be collected towards the project and funds one power pool. Jesus, even Hendrick likes that you read it loud. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> He's like, that's exactly how I typed it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he said, right? <laughs> Finally, someone's listening to me. <laughs> he put it in all caps, Greek. No, blockchain, we can't hear you, bro. You, you're on mute, man. Wait, I, I have wait, I have the consensus. How about we just don't do anything and we just do the Uxi stuff? Oh, now Agreed. Another... What do you mean? Agreed. <laughs> huh? Agreed. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can't. I, I'd rather, I'd rather buy another token yeah. that has different, you know, tokenomics like said, and such. That any possibility of anything possibly hurting us, I just want to trash it. I don't want to have a possibility of anything hurting us. Wait, we've been going through this for five months. Can we just do something else? I feel you, brother, but I don't think that. You, do you think that the? Uh, do you think another There's sacrifice would hurt us? That's enough for me. You what? You think a sacrifice would hurt us? Yes and no. I think that there's a possibility. No, not of a, a, a sacrifice. You want to have another sacrifice? Fine. Have another sacrifice because that's not going to hurt us. A sacrifice ain't going to hurt yeah, us. Yeah, but that's what we're talking about now because we've come to the consensus that everybody doesn't like the other thing. Yeah, 100%. The other thing I, should be like gone with the wind right now because that, there's a possibility of that hurting us. A sacrifice. A of no, I agree. I agree yeah. with you on that. There's no possibility of a sacrifice hurting us. You want to have a sacrifice? <laughs> have a sacrifice. My opinion on those that are out there sacrificing is, and, and this is just my opinion. And I, I know that, you know, some people may feel disgruntled with me because that's saying, oh, well, now you're stopping some extra liquidity from coming in. It's, But I, my opinion is for the people who are investing in this. And and there are two possibilities. The price will go up or the price will go down. The price is not going sideways day one. So as a, a safe investor, I would see where the price goes, where it level up, levels out at before I invest any more money into something we've already put a tremendous amount of money into. Yeah, so I disagree with that. I, don't, I would not want to go to more. I, I would Absolutely. not want to see where price is going to go because I already know where it's going to go. It's going to go up. There's 2.5% that can be sold. It's okay, but up. after that is sold off, I agree with you. After I that is sold off, what? After everyone that wants to sell their 2.5% 
sells off, it's going up. I 100% concur. Yeah, with but that. that's 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 you understand that it sounds to me like what you're saying is that everybody all at once is going to sell at their 2.5% and all then the going to go up. Yes. No, that's not going to happen. All, with all the people that want to sell their 2.5% yeah. are not going to do it. They're not going to do it all together. No. No, Especially once they not. realize that well, they can earn two and a half percent on that yeah, two and a half percent. Whoever in wants to sell days. is going to sell within the first yeah, hour of. No, they're uh, not. Uh, no, they're not. You're, I have you're two point five percent. Let me let me explain this to you. I have yeah. two point five percent. Yeah, I just went over this this morning. I'm not even going to. I don't. I'm not even going to think about selling until day twenty one. Me neither. I'm going to sell on day twenty one. I'm going to sell day one during, for first hour. I, I I changed my mind on when I'm going to sell. I made that clear. I said now now it makes sense to buy more tokens when it first launches. But you have, in in my opinion, you want to wait until the people that want to sell get out first. Yeah, but that's not going to happen all at once. At the beginning, there's going to be more buy pressure than there ever will be, especially at the beginning. Listen, I, I agree that there's going to be the buy pressure now. I I. I I agree with it's heavier than it was before. I agree with that. The buy pressure is heavier now than it was before. But the people that still want to sell are going to sell. They will. And I agree with you on that. It's just they're not all going to sell at the same time. So the price goes down. So when Even are they going to sell? If that happened, they still wouldn't be. It still wouldn't when are they going to sell? Much buy pressure. When are they going to sell, though? Are they sometimes they're going to sell sometimes sporadically throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. They'll sell whenever they want. I mean, they're that's to sell in the first hour, poodles. I, I know, but some people are dead set on getting the money. Some money. people are, mm. yes, some yes. people are. Okay, so, so, but those are just some, though. Let's just, let's just use the, 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 the top five wallets. If they want to take their 2.5% out immediately, there's going to be a small dip. <laughs> I don't think they're going to do that. That's, that's, that's What's up, fam? Right there. Hey, hey, Daniel, um, there's a few comments, and they want to listen to Khan talk about the cons and pros. Okay. I get it, Khan. Khan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, well, yeah, I guess I, I'll say that. Um, <laughs> the only thing I could see, I think, as Greek was mentioning, that it would increase circulating supply, like total circulating supply, like like for holders, not overall on on technically day one and technically overall. So that is the only thing that is really a, it says the biggest con, but it's true because then even if you buy, depending on how much is sacrificed, you could actually end up with a lesser percentage of yeah. the uh, circulating supply. It really. It's 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 a hit or miss. If not a lot of people sacrifice, but you do a lot, and say Chris does a lot, and Daniel does a lot, obviously your percentages go up. But it'll be, I think, very minuscule. But it's I think the only thing it's really going to do is add liquidity to the project, and then lock in, you know, the two percent, two and a half percent, two and a half percent for the rest of the year. So it does thicken liquidity, but actually may hurt your overall percentage of the for the power pool and the uh, flex rewards. Compton, you have to un unmute so that we can hear you if you want to say something. Go ahead, brother. What's up, Compton? What's up, fam? Uh, I, I want to say one thing. You got uh, no disrespect. Can, can, you, can you turn him up, Daniel? Yeah. Go ahead, Compton. Uh, so I want to say one thing. I think uh, what Brian posted, really, is to prove people wrong on the, like, wrong mean on their own selves right there's been too many uh, well the the vesting the vesting has had a controversial thing in this court and if you read uh brian's comment or his post it says change the sentiment right kind of change the topic mm -hmm. So I you think, think that he's just, just trying to change the subject? Just to, just to change, exactly. Just to change the sentiment of people complaining about the vesting. The same people that complain about the vesting is the same people voting no on the blockchain being, or whatever, you know, the coin being launched on Binance, right? It's the same people. So it's just proving people that they're, you know, they're wrong. They're wrong about the vesting period. They, 
they don't want this to be harm. You don't want to launch some launch something early and then get harmed. So it just proven them wrong. Like you, you know, the vesting is good for you know the blockchain, and it's just to change the people's sentiment inside Discord. Because since oh, that I came see. out. The whole so week, you're saying, people are just so you're saying that the people who were against the vesting might see a clear, a clear picture now. Now that this a has been proposed, exactly. yeah, I see what you're saying. Thank you for putting it. I didn't even think words. that. I yeah. didn't think that. Word. That's actually a because good point. If you if you go on Discord, it's it's just oh, you know, people just complain back and forth with the vesting, and it, it's been the same topic topic for the last two weeks. And now when this new uh, vesting period came out, and you know, whole format. People didn't like it, and it's been this. That's been the topic day and night. So, so Brian posted that just to change the sentiment in Discord, and then you saw people react right away, and it it, it went away from the vesting to now this. So it's just a, that's what uh, a, a the crypto money stream reviews says. This is just an idea, just what exactly what you're saying uh, to talk about, which changes the narrative. And forces us poodles unmute uh, unmute yourself, and forces us to take a, a look deeper into this and to learn more. So poodles, did that? Did it do that to you? Did it do that to you? Did you did did you stop to think about this a little bit more? Because you were one that that wasn't that. I know that you were for it, but I know that there might be a little piece of you that still doesn't like the best thing. Did this did this proposal today make you stop and go? This is actually no. really good. This would make me. This would be really yeah, bad if we did this. But if we, if we, if we just kept on with what we're doing, that would actually be a lot better. I see a little bit, a little bit clearer now. This, what was brought up today has nothing to do with how I feel about the vesting. You, uh, I mean, am I disgruntled? Was I disgruntled about it because I didn't know all of the details about? No, why that's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking is, did it tweak a little at all a little bit today? This idea of going live on Binance. Did it at all tweak, even though you are now for it, did it make you see it a little bit clearer, like no, what this Compton's had, saying? No, th th this had nothing to do with my emotions towards that. Okay. Vesting. All right. Fair. Brian Legend tossed a, tossed a B and B grenade and we all piled on. Genius, <laughs> says Fisk. <laughs> Is entertaining. By the way, let's see. Let's see what the poll says, everybody. We're yeah. up for 129 votes, and it's a yes for 60%. Mine's 53% yes on 43 votes. It's tightened up. It was a bigger spread. Now it's tightening is up. This, it's very well, on mine, it's a bigger oh, spread. It's a bigger right? spread. Well, from the all the on mine before. Now this is for, uh, we asked, should a, we do a BNB sacrifice? And mine's at 53% yes. Prado's is at a bigger spread. Yeah, that's, but that's, a relevant, that's not going to hurt, hurt the protocol in any way. So there's no reason why anybody should be against it. And there's no reason what, you know, that's not going to, I, I, I do get why some would say no. As as I've said, they're worried about the per their percentages going down. They're worried about buy pressure at launch. If people can come in now and sacrifice BNP, then they won't buy at launch. I I'll just say this. There's still a whole lot of marketing, a whole lot of new eyes that don't even know Vulcan exists. So if you do a BNB sacrifice, you're basically getting those of us who already know what Vulcan is involved. And it wouldn't even have to be for a long time, not saying like a month worth just make it three or four days and say, hey, you got three or four days. Get your BNB ready to come in. And then but I get why people are saying yes, why they're saying no. Let's Obviously, just launch blockchain, man. And let's get this ball rolling. Of course. Yeah. If he says blockchain tomorrow, I'm 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 gonna be the happiest Greek That's in the it. world. Let's let's so, all I mean, of our energy, all, all of our thing. commitment, all of our finances that the team has into doing everything they need to do to make this launch. Yeah, but how about this, Poodles? Do you think it's ready? I think it's ready. I think it's ready. I think it's ready. That's what I think. I, I disagree with it being ready because uh, the transact people are still having a little bit of problems with uh, transactions with the test net. No, people I don't think it's like 100% ready. What I mean by it's ready, it's I think that we're like, we're just, he, they're just, they're ironing out some kinks right now. That's it, bro. I think that yeah, this is ready so to go. We don't know everything. Jay Legend says node owners need everything to ch on chain at launch. We paid and still playing each month to run these uh, for for volume. Yeah, well, that's what the whole that's what we're trying to get to. Um, this was just that th th this is this was just something that uh, was proposed by Brian today to go on BSC, and now it's tra transformed into a, a sort of a morph conversation into both that now 
B and B sacrifice, and then you know uh, what, what what we were just talking about just now. So it's just it's a it's a conversation about a whole bunch of different. Things. I don't think everybody got the memo here. Um, Chris Cruz beard, blockchain poodles, facial hair, confirmant facial hair, follower facial hair. What are they doing, man? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I should I get rid of face, but I'm That's cool. what I should do. <laughs> Compton, do you have a beard? Nah, duh. No. But hey, no. you know what? Going back to the idea, Brian mentioned Binance. So that 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 should make you guys excited that both Vulcan can launch on, on Binance now. And could that be That's an exchange? Saying. Could that be one of the exchanges that are requiring that uh that maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, if he says, "Oh, I'll launch it on Binance," okay, well, that means that that could be one of them. People keep saying they thought I was a new holder up here. Daniel, the community doesn't just consist of the 212 people watching this live. I just said, "Hope not." Laugh out loud. This needs to be put in Discord for a true vote. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we 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 know it needs to be. But all we can do is to the 220 people watching is that's all we can. That's our sample size here. Yeah, you know, that's all it is. Um, you know, when they do polls uh, for you know for voting in for governmental polls, those are just like they take 10,000 sample sizes and there's millions of votes. Where this is just a small sample size. I would be interested to see what the Discord would say. I'm sure it would swing further to the no side, knowing the Discord. Um, but it's very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Swarov Sharma says, yeah. And then there goes AA who says, yes. I just picture as a cat <laughs> saying that. Yeah. HN says, Poodles, you're on fire tonight. Uh, and so good when you're calm and people can understand you and your meaning. Well, there you go. There goes Swarov Sharma says, say? oopsie sacrifice. That is coming. Don't worry. Uh, sorry, chat also agrees probably with bowling for Seifu. Who said that we need to put this on on in the uh, in the Discord? Like I, I'm sure if Brian wants to, he'll put it on there. But I can't put it on there. Like okay, we have an announcement from Brian. Do you want me to read it? Sure. Let's share the screen. I'll do that for no, you. Don't okay. need it. Nope. I'm sorry. Everyone's content here. <laughs> Let's go to uh, the Discord. Is it an announcement? Great. No, no. Uh, it's a regular chat. So just okay. Scroll. Let me just start. Uh, right here. Yeah. Jesus. Go ahead, Greek. Thank you to everyone for all the comments and insights. I have made the executive decision, together with the consensus of our community, to stick to the original plan and be laser-like focused of Q2 release of Vulcan. The idea of a B about a BEP20 redeem vol token is now null and void. However. I would like to hear your thoughts on whether or not we should release a final BNB sacrifice. Takeaway points. Any vol coins would not add to circulating supply coins. Coins would be taken out of the treasury allocation, just like I was saying. All oh, right, that's like sacrifice perfect. Price that's all you need to know. At, <laughs> sacrifice price of vol would be at a $9 plus a 10% bonus declining over a period of 14 days. The 14-day sacrifice would not cause delays or any harm for the Vulcan blockchain. This additional sacrifice would only add to thicker liquidity for mainnet, therefore securing a better floor price. And all additional vol through the sacrifice claim Boom. would still be prone to the strategic rollout vesting schedule. Dude, Are it's exactly like how I thought it would be. I'd like to hear you too, Daniel. Talk, please. Or no, Greek. So let's hear it because now we know the past thing that we said was the greatest idea ever, which, which the thumbnail people, that wasn't like us just – praising brian that was us getting you to like get ex just come in with some opinions we wanted to hear your thoughts and that was what it did it got you emotional coming in and that's what we needed okay so I well just that's not to gonna happen poodles all right so we don't gotta worry about that that's good right well look the at that thing. though uh greek between you know our thoughts there on the allocation i mean that, that that's literally exactly what we thought yeah, and I didn't even expect any. So a ten percent declining bonus. That's yeah. That, that was be... the only, and it's a, literally an added bonus. Look at that, poodles. The incentive right that there. Excites that's the incentive. Me even more now for a BNB sacrifice, ten percent bonus. But now it doesn't. No, it doesn't increase circulating supply. It's just got to pull out of treasury. Yes, it will increase the holder supply now, though. The holder supply that will affect yeah, the. But that's going to be very minimal, powerful. everybody. I'll go over the numbers in a second. Kelly Production says, so "Guys, I've been doing errands and just popped on." In a nutshell, can you please update a brother and tell me what I missed? What happened was there was a proposal, just a quick thing that Brian typed up over uh, over there on the Discord saying, 
that he wanted to maybe release this early on BSC, just to, you know, the 27 million that was shot down. And now there's now a new uh, question being asked by Brian, whether or not there should be a new B and B sacrifice. That's it in a nutshell. All right. Oh, look, pride is with us. What's up, brother? What's going on? Pride. Brian, we just looked at that. Are you talking about something else? I'll take a look. No, I think that was the comment. That was it. Okay. Yeah, yeah he that, said that, that comment was. The but I noticed it first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, that, that's and that's awesome. Like, like how we were just thinking about exactly what they would do to take it out of the treasury and then have it put added onto the holder supply, but not increase the circulating. I mean, that's that's spot on. And that since you have that t- extra ten percent, that's exactly what you would what you would want. I mean, that's not. That's actually there's really no the only con to it is that you might lose uh, a percentage of your flex rewards, but I think with the amount that would have to be you know added on top would be astronomical for it to be quite a difference. All right, he just put the vote up for it. All right, so now everybody, right now this is at one forty five on my page. Uh, we have it at fifty nine to forty one with a yes winning handedly. Will you sacrifice knowing that you still will be vested? I'm going to end that poll and just ask the question again simply. Would you want a sim a, a, a BNB sacrifice? And that'll just be a poll Ooh. here for me and Greek. It's, it's gonna close. be again. It's gonna be again. I know I asked it already. It was it was the winner that it, it did win in the last poll, and then that one just won. This one just came out by Brian. He just said he is gonna put it out there again for people to vote on. So I want yeah. you guys to just say yes or no in mine or Greek's oh, starting right now. We have 39 40 you should leave it up on the screen no. right now so we can actually see it. It, it it was neck and neck but the the no's are actually outpacing the yeses at the moment i still don't get i don't get it either this this actually doesn't i this is actually better at the moment for if you if anyone wanted to sacrifice anything more before it happened i'm actually i, I am actually kind of for it. i might i might add a little more if we were able to do it my greek emoji's got seven votes eight votes now oh no i gotta put mine on there Darn it. Go ahead. Hurry up. You got time. There's not 32 emojis yet. You can do it. <laughs> it's so close. Boom. It's 57 Darn to 62. It. Someone someone bring it up on the screen. Oh, too, are, too, too many. This is a really interesting vote right here. No, Daniel, you can be your sports announcer now. You can just you can just you can just you on, know, be neck and neck. Yeah, hold on. Where, where are we at? What is it that you have to put? Um I, I don't even see it. Just hold go on. into the main chat and uh in I'm in vote. the main chat. Just, I just type down. Brian, Brian Legend. All right. Check marks is four at sixty-five, and against is that is a red check mark. It goes to seventy-three now. It's at sixty-nine. Sixty-nine to seventy-five. Seventy-five. Seventy-five is in, in the lead right now, everybody. For no, you got to get over there, everybody. I'm gonna put this on on, on our chat. Ask the community, will you yeah, sacrifice B and B for Vulcan? <laughs> will you will you sacrifice B and B for Vulcan? Yes or no? The community is asked here in the live chat right now. We're gonna go back to the to the Discord. Where where are we at right now? Are we do we have this? We don't even have it uh, shared to this to the uh, to the no, audience right now. Winning. Hold on, well, I'm bringing it up for everybody strong. to see what's going on. Greeks at 23. It's votes. a 77 to 88. Yes, are at 77. No's are at not, at 90. Wow. 90 is in a decisive lead right now by t- by 12. 79 to 91. 82 to 90 t- to 91. <laughs> 91 <laughs> to 80. 81. It's a 10 point lead right now. <laughs> this is an that. exciting vote. Everybody, get over to the Discord and show your love for BNB sacrifice. The nose right now have it handedly 95 to 83. It's a 15 point margin. 98 to 83 right now. 97 to 83. 86 goes up for the for, for the for the yeses. This is unbelievable. Everybody, come on. This is Where unprecedented. Wait a second. Uh, hey, Greek, could you do me a huge favor here? Could you? Go in in like in the calculator and say make that circulating supply um like thirty five million. Say like another you know uh eight million come out. How much of a difference that makes out of flex rewards from now versus before? Okay, I can do that with like a thousand bags. So everybody it because because then if, if it's not that crazy, right now. one hundred four to ninety nine. Then the yes is a oh, yeah, back all the way. It's one hundred one to one hundred five. One hundred four to one hundred one. <laughs> This is unbelievable. The yeses are making an incredible hey, Con, comeback. 103 Con, to 105. 103 I, I to 105. Con, write 105 this number down. Four. Oh, my God, 103 man. 103 to 106. 103 to 108. 106. It's this so, is unbelievable. It's so the yeses and the no's are going nuts <laughs> no, right now. The yeses come out now. <laughs> yes is passing. To all the people that are voting yes, understand that when they do have their sacrifice, 
that they will only be able to get 2.5% of their money, number one. And number two, do they not understand that if they sack, if, if they just buy in on day one, they have 100% of available usage to do whatever yeah. they want with their bag. So, so I just, you know, that I, that has or, to be said. They have, they have or, to be aware of this. Or so you, you buy me to do the math. Buy in bulk in a to 20 to 30 bucks a uh, token, a, a coin. Yeah. So here's the numbers. So if you own a 1,000, uh, just what your flex would change your percentage. It would be four zeros and three seven at the current circulating supply. Now, if we, let's say, got like $27 million in here, or some crazy astronomical number, we went up to 35 million circulating supply, it would be four zeros and two eight. So that's how much you would point. So how much? It, wait, wait. So you said four zeros, one four second. zeros, three seven, zero four, four. Three seven, four zeros, two eight. And then it'd be four zeros two eight, and that okay. would be the difference we'll if we went up to thirty five on a thousand bags. So that's how your flex percentage would be changed. So it said four zeros two eight times that by thirty five, no, by a hundred. Those are up by thirteen right now, one thirty three to one twenty. By point zero two three four three seven. Uh, that means your 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 flex rewards would drop by about twenty five percent. Yeah. And that's assuming that's assuming a ton of because to add a million coins, we need nine million dollars coming in. So that's assuming we added eight million. So that would be eight times nine. That would be seventy two million dollars coming in on a yeah. That, I do I do not see so that this. So what I just gave you is if seventy two million dollars was sacrificed, how will you would be affected? So that's not happening. I can assure you that. So yeah, like a million is not going to affect your change. Uh, is not going to change your much if nine million. Wait. So yes, yeah, so that million. So if it's twenty five. So you can say for eight million is twenty five, and you can just do a proportion to figure out what each million is after that. So yeah. far, right now, this million, is the close race, but the nodes have taken it. They're what? They're up by twenty one forty six to one twenty six. Yeah. Unbelievable! It still shocks me that people just don't want to add to their bags. I just don't. I don't get it. I mean, you just said it. You need to have like people don't want to add to their bags. Very big dent. They want to be able to use their money when the blockchain launches. Create more FOMO. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. funny because on our polls, what do we have? It's 54% to 46% on my side. So everybody in this in these chats that we are that we are uh, hosting here, uh, <coughs> they're for it. But the people in Discord are not. I mean, it's it's close. Don't get me wrong, it's close. But it's 151 to 130 now. The the the, the nose have taken a commanding lead. So Mella fellow wants to know, will GVOL be issued with new sacrifice? That's a good question. He never said anything about it in his post, but I would assume no, if I had I to go off of that. About GVOL. Why, why would you assume no on that? Yeah. No, they're not going to be. Those Those are that the Greek. If it's sacrifice, they're going to get GVOL. They, they, they probably, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, either way, it's. Like, I'm not focused on the GVOL. I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. But I mean, the, short, the short answer is he said that everyone who sacrifices gets GVOL. If someone sacrifices, yeah. he just be, never said it. So I always assume no till it's said by the team because I don't want to say yes and then be proven wrong. So yeah, Greek until Greek. I hear him say it, it's a no. That's yeah. how I. That's how I assume everything. And it's the safest way about it. So he never said that's how it's going to be, which which right now it doesn't matter anyways because the nose are winning. So um, I can't believe my Greek emojis got 39 clicks. Like, Yeah, I tried to add mine, but it's still, it says that there's enough already on there. It doesn't look like there's that much, but I guess he cut crazy. it off. So I was, I was, I was going to say to Poodles, I, I can understand your, 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 your point of view. I can also understand everyone wanting to sacrifice. I just... I don't Listen, know. I, I understand I, 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 that we're going to get more liquidity for it, but as an investor, as the investor side of it, not not the uh, you know, I'm only going to speak for uh, for the investor side of it. It makes sense for you. We're going to have plenty of liquidity. I know people are saying, well, "Let's get more liquidity." We're going to blow up. I believe this blockchain is going to be super successful, and we're going to blow up. OK, so I don't want people to think, oh, I'm, I'm fudding the project or anything like that. I'm speaking for people's pockets. It makes sense, in my opinion, that if we're going to sacrifice again, if I'm going to sacrifice again, there's either going to be a bonus to go with it 
or I'm going to wait until we launch, see what happens with the price, then whatever money I put into the project, I could use 100% of those funds to do whatever I want during the rise, during the fall, during every part of it, instead of only being able to use 2.5%. That's well, that's I another good point. The incentive they gave was only the the um the ten percent, but I mean I guess I guess it depends on what you're willing to gamble with. If you're okay with holding for long term, getting an extra ten percent, and being able to buy say at nine dollars, I, I know that you know Daniel and everyone thinks it's going to shoot up to like you know twenty fifty dollars on the first day. I, I don't necessarily believe it's going to do that myself. I, I can't it's going to be like a little bit better, but um. It's definitely an interesting thing to really think about. It's like, would you rather take the chances and buy it on day one, have your whole bag, but say you bought it like you know twelve dollars, thirteen dollars? That's about you know thirty four to you know thirty percent less than what you could have gotten. But obviously, you're not factoring in that two and a half percent that you would only be available to get on month one. It's it's definitely an interesting thing. Hey, look at Kryptonians here. You are a great wife, Mrs. Prado. You are a great wife. <laughs> calm him down. Calm him down. Let's see. Let's see. He's taking my blood pressure. Yeah, my, my my wife does the same thing. Comes in with the oxygen checker, puts it on my finger to make sure <laughs> my heart okay. rate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, we're a little high. Yeah. Yeah. Show the people. I can't see. Hold on. Yep, Thirty-seven over eighty-four. Ooh. I mean that that top number is a little a little <laughs> high, brother. But it's a lot better than mine. So you're doing yeah, well. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Look at how beautiful she is, everybody. Thanks. Guys, we gotta fix this. We gotta we gotta help his blood pressure. Wives of Vulcan. Okay, now we're fixing Daniel Prado's blood pressure. Oh brother, Thank you. I can I can understand you on that one. <laughs> All right, we gotta get my blood pressure back up. Let's go back to the call. You should let you should let, you should let Kryptonian say something here. He's just been sitting. It's not as close, so it's not as as interesting as the call. It's at, it's one seventy two to one thirty nine. The, the 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 yeses are taking a beating right now. The yeses are taking a beating right now. But it's a lot closer than the last vote, that's for sure. The last it is one, a lot closer, yeah. I the think last vote for BNB sacrifice was like 500, and people were like, remember all the X's in the chat? People were like, X, 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 and it was like just a stream. People were so against it. This one is a lot Listen, closer. I think that they should have a sacrifice no matter what the vote is. Have the sacrifice. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm right, I'm right there with you, poodles. What? I'm right there with you, bro. They should just do it anyway. Yeah, do that. Do it anyway. Have the freaking sacrifice. No freaking problem. I am going to respect the result of the vote. I'm just saying for for me to be okay with myself, knowing that the community that I deal with, that for my viewers, they like to hear my opinion, my side of it. I would not want my viewers. I would want my viewers to. You got it, bro. To. To buy on day one and use 100% of their money how they please on day one. However, everybody else wants to go about doing it, go ahead and do it. I'm for the sacrifice. Go ahead and get her, baby. Well, I can tell you that on mine and Greek's polls, our viewers, which I think is the sentiment of most of us, is saying that they want it. But what's in Discord is what matters to Brian right now because that's what he's looking at. I so think everybody, everybody, no matter what, have the sacrifice. <laughs> it doesn't hurt us. And have I want this to be known. People, if you people people want to do it? Go ahead and do it. Sacrifice or add to your bag. Then you're 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 not. So like some people are like, why would I pay to dilute my position? You're not really diluting your position. You're no, paying. you're just at, you're adding to your bag. You're okay. But that that's it. Have the sacrifice, no matter what. We if don't know how much there's going to come more, more more uh more liquidity to it. Add. Have another sacrifice. I'm all for There's it. There's no way yeah. that you're going to have more money come in than it was our well, originally sacrificed. Add, have another sacrifice. This is our goal. I'm all for There's it. There's no way yeah. that you're going to have more money come in than it was our originally sacrificed. Sorry, I, I had the audio on, so we were getting feedback. But this is our poll. I just wanted to show Anything's this. Anything's possible. Anything's so possible. It's at 58 to 42 on mine. I don't know. I can't see Greeks, though, uh, when I click on yours, Greek, for some 56%. reason. 56%. Oh, I, I can click on it now because before I could, I'm going to go to Greek now. I know we're getting all this feedback and everything, so let me just let me just stop. But real quick, let's go to Greeks, so you guys can I see. I agree Greeks. with that last comment with Sky High. He says, 
Says that yeah. Says that anyone who wants to wait until day one can. No one is making. So it I agree with that last comment. Who want it? High. He oh. says. Fifty-eight says to forty-two yeah, on green yeah, Anyone who wants to. Go ahead, uh, on, I'm sorry, bro. What happened? <laughs> I think I think I, I said what I had to say. I heard myself say it after I said it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I forgot to turn off. I'm like with yourself. Voice. Okay, why do you do this to me, Daniel? It is true. If you don't want to sacrifice and you want to wait, you can wait. There, everybody yeah. gets the option. The sacrifice yeah. doesn't really hurt many people. Yeah, that's I true. get it. If you don't do it, your percentage goes down a bit, but we're talking about $9 million has to come in and it's very, very minuscule. It really is. Well, see, well, like you think about it like that. So some people won't buy until day one and some people will sacrifice. So you, as we were to say in Greek, it, it takes $75 million to make it what the 8 million up rise in circulation. So, I mean, we only sacrifice what 32 million, 36 technically. So, I mean, you'd have to essentially double that plus more in order to make it that high. So, I mean, you, you might lose if, if you got like, I don't know. I think I only think you'd maybe get like 10 or maybe, maybe 10 million, maybe. And that's only going to like maybe lower your percentage by what? Two to five percent, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But that's if you don't contribute at all to it. But I will respect whatever the vote says. Exactly. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. everyone can do it what they want. I, I mean, I will respect whatever Brian decides to do because I'm with Poodles. Even if it goes to no and he does it anyway, then fine. I think it's just. I like, would be okay with that. I'm just saying. But Scott, how is the point, Greek? He said it doesn't matter to you if you don't want to sacrifice. Don't sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if, what's it going to add? Like we just went over those numbers while I was doing the call. You guys were talking about it. What's it going to add? It's going to be like a very, few very, dollars. very minuscule. If like he let's say you get nine million, five million dollars to come in. It would lower your flex percentage by about uh, twenty five percent. Make like it juicy for million dollars. Dollars. I don't think it, it would. It, 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 it would lower our percentage by twenty five percent. That's impossible. No, no, it it, 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 it does. It, if you I, get seventy five million coming in, it's yeah. seventy five million comes in. Yeah, yeah. so we threw that's an astronomical eight, eight, number. Eight, so eight, even eight, at that eight, crazy eight, number, eight, that's never going to hit because. And if we got seventy five million in added liquidity, that's a really good. Well, benefit. I can tell you what happens if we got seventy five million, then we open at ninety dollars. That just so that everybody knows, is everybody okay with that? Because if we got seventy five million coming in. We're not opening at nine dollars. I can promise you that. We're opening at ninety. All right. There's no way that they would open at at nine dollars. There's it's zero zero chance. Go ahead, Mrs. Worldwide. Um, I haven't heard much from Pride. How do you feel about all this? And then let's listen to Kryptonian <laughs> after. I was going to say, I was going to go to Kryptonian next. I was not going to go to Pride at all. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want to hear wow. from Pride. No, that's what I'm saying. Go ahead. I, I'm all cool with, cool with the B&B sacrifice. You are? That Why? <laughs> like I said, I don't, I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's when he first when he first when he first put in Discord, I put open up a BNB sacrifice. You might as well open up a BNB a BNB sacrifice. You did say that. That's correct. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, all there's right. no, there's the no the reason that, that we've that all been willing to have it. It's it's not gonna hurt us in any way. It can't hurt us, so why not? It can't hurt us, that's right. Can't and that's what you were worried about with the other with the other proposal, which yeah, I that other that, thing I think that should be, you know. It, it was a, you know, a short-lived idea that, you know, I don't believe, I, I believe that there is a possibility for that hurting us. That's, so that's why, why I agree with you. I agree with you on that. There's a possibility of that hurting us, whereas the B&B sacrifice does nothing but help us, in my opinion. Agreed. I'm for just happy. For, let me just make this one point. I'm just happy that after today, after this vote goes down. That we're all focused on main net that. launch, and that's just going to be it. Whatever the decision is going to be made. Oh, by the way, great, that's a great point that you just made. For once, everybody, right? You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the point that the, what you just said is he emphasized that we should all be laser focused, and this is what I want Pride and everybody else that thinks we're going to be later than Q two. He said we should all be laser focused on the Q. To launch, Brad, I wasn't going there. He, I mean, hey, I'm going good. there. I'm going. He's there. going there. He's going there. I still think we. The Q two launch, launch Pride. I'm not changing off of that. The floor is yours, Pride. No, like I said, we we talked on the phone today. <laughs> Early today, we talked on the phone. I know you, you gave me your points. I gave my points. I hope it is cool Q two. That's all I can say. I just wanted to put you on the spot, bro. Yeah, and he is entitled to his opinion. Yeah. Listen, all right, that's enough of you, uh, uh, Boodles. Hold on, <laughs> that's enough of him. 
<laughs> Bro, it's so much fun having the controls. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I listen, Pride. I, I I respect your your uh your your view on it, but I just think that people who are thinking about it going further, I think there's got to be something, that, some kind of a catastrophe for us to go into quarter three. That's honestly my opinion. I think this thing is ready to go. If he's proposing going on BSC scan or BSC, uh, yeah, BC, BSC scan. He's, I mean, listen. <laughs> That means that this thing's ready to go. They just got a couple things that they're tweaking. I'm telling you guys, watch what happens when they release. They're going to be like, yeah, we're ready to go. We were ready in September. But, so you know. So let's mother flipping launch, man. Let's launch now. They, go. they got a few things to tweak. That's the only thing. They got They got to get that Uxie swap figured out. Make sure that, that whatever that uh, is going to be in terms of the revenue sharing. Remember, they're going to be doing that with Uxie swap. That's also going to be paying out. In some way, we don't know the tokenomics of that. They got to make sure that the that 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 those final two lines that were that were uh, that were corrupted or bad for the for the code in uh, in the in the rebase is fixed. Those two things need to be fixed. I'm sure that's already done. That's why they hit the reset button. Everybody, they hit the reset button and they started it up again. Why? Because those things are supposed to already be fixed. And then when we get those new tokens from the from the faucet. Those new tokens that we get from the faucet will rebase. And if they rebase, it's game over, everybody. That's the thing that they've been working on. That's the big mama right there. The big kahuna. The elephant in the room. What else, Greg? That's the it. Big, the, the big Gambino. Ooh, it's getting closer. It's only a 40 difference. Shots Final fired. Your channel is the SHIT. What, like, what else would I think? My channel shucks. <laughs> we need did, a live I, I, I the math We got it, Mason Cohen. You got it right live on the air. Go ahead. Um, um, we got math. Um, so if the sacrifice goes the way it does, uh, so per nine million three hundred seventy-five thousand, you that comes in uh, the circulating supply. So basically, that would add about three point. So I take off about three point one two five percent of your daily flex. So three so percent. So every nine million that comes in, you lose three percent of flex. That's not a big difference no. at all. You know, I don't know. That's and, a big difference to me. I disagree. I want that three percent. Then <laughs> sacrifice more. Selfish. <laughs> Let's go over some numbers. Think, yeah, I guess you I could talk, take your bag and then think. About I spoke about that. this with Greek, um, and um, and Pride today. Uh, I want to show you guys something. Because you guys weren't watching me earlier, I want to show you guys this, this absolutely spectacular uh, uh, calculation that I that I did this morning. I am going to go to the calculator. So for everybody that is uh, excited, go, wait, go get your popcorn. Let's get let's get to it. We want you to start using an abacus. Can you use that, please? Let please. me show you this, uh, um, uh, Con. Look at this right here. This is this 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 rule applies for every single number. Every single number. So everybody who holds. This applies to you. Watch what happens. You own a thousand, right? You own a thousand. Uh, Two point five percent of one thousand is twenty-five. That's mm -hmm. what the calculation comes out to. Okay, two point five percent. You get you get twenty-five on day one, right? You get twenty-five on day one, and um, you could see here that after one day of rebasing, you get one point two Vulcan from rebasing just we're not even going to talk about anything else just the rebase here everybody but well, watch what happens when we when we move up here and look what happens if you it, let me just go back again if you sell your 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 25 you're you're down to, to 975 but if you don't and you just say you know what let me just hold on to this you can see what's going to happen to the rebase remember this number right here is what we're looking at okay so this is what we're looking at and you can see that what happens on day 21 on just day 21, you have now rebased your way all the way to what you got in your 2.5% in just 21 days. So if everybody that watches mine and Greek's channel, and this is not gonna be everybody because there's only 200 people watching right now. So what's there gonna be thousands of people that are involved? So not everyone's gonna do this, only the ones that are in the know, which is all of you guys, right? Now watch what happens. You now get this, now you sell on day 21 whatever the price is who cares you go back down to what you started with it's like nothing happened you now you have 1000 but here's the trick though if you sell on day one 
right? If you sell on day one, now you have 975. You see that? Look what happens. You get back to where you started in, in 21 days. And in order to get to where you once were when you first started, you have to go all the way to 42 days just to get your rebase back. So what do you want to do? Do you want to sell on day one or do you guys who are in the know want to sell on day 21 because you didn't sell on day one, you kept on, you held on to your 22.5% and you went all the way to 21 days instead of day one and you got everything back. And instead of whatever it is that it would have, it would have been on day one, on day 21, you take that and this right here gets replenished. You start right back at, and then guess what you do? Another 21 days later, you sell the 25, 0.62. 21 days after that, you sell the 25.62. You keep on going back down to just the thousand and you keep selling every 21 days the 25.62. You guys get it? Isn't that fascinating? Anybody? Yeah, I like it. Sorry, I was finishing a piece of candy. You the, you already know, me and you discussed this on the phone. I was I yeah. was like, this is excited. Yeah. So but what's been, what makes it more exciting though, Greek, is the, the 975, bro. If you if you sell on day one, it takes you twice as long to get there. Look, it's crazy. Yeah, not to mention when you sell on day 21, you get all that price appreciation that we know is coming. Exactly. Everybody who's watching, you guys are now in the know. It's a new it's a new segment called in the know. <laughs> um in in that calculator, are you able to change the circulating supply and also screw with the uh flex rewards um i think we can change this circulating supply yes we can. i have Let's exact, do that. i just Let's did all do. i did more math i figured out exactly if we were to sacrifice exactly what was already been sacrificed so we doubled it okay what, let's what, do that. What, what would change it okay so what's the what's the new number uh, would be 54, 31 000. million oh 31 million um so i was reading out zero four three oh, yeah, one four four yeah. you're right so that is adding exactly the amount pretty much that we have so now if we can figure that out I, my calculation is that it changes by about 12 percent. so now you can do the numbers based off of that if we wound up doing that see how much the difference is between the two so okay you get an idea just in case something like that did happen so the, now you see the percentage of vol, vol hold, held down there if you go to day one so now it's going to take yeah slide that to day one I have to well no, I have to I have to change the other one to, to one thousand also because it's nine seventy five right now. And then put it back after that. So we'll we'll notate what that percentage is and then when you put it back to the original circulating supply, well, all you need to do is change it to a twenty seven afterwards. But so Yeah, this is uh the percentage is uh zero zero three two two five, right? Okay. And now just change that to a twenty seven instead of thirty one. Oh no, wow, it doesn't change. <laughs> Yeah, you have to like actually erase the whole thing. All right, so yeah, let's so it changes by about twelve percent. Yeah, so I was right. Okay. By how much? It's about twelve percent. If we got the exact same amount that we had, it's already sacrificed. Okay. So thirty-five. If thirty-six million came in from the BNB sacrifice, that's what you're. How much it would change? Oh, from. you're talking about if thirty-six million came in. Yeah, so that's that, yeah. That, I don't that's expect that. Adding four million tokens to circulating supply. No. Are you guys it's expecting holding. that kind of a number to come in? No, no we're no, just I'm showing. We're just showing case. like crazy amounts. Like basically, oh, if, if okay. we did a sacrifice, I would expect a double Ethereum, which would probably get us one point two million. Which you divide that by nine, and how many tokens it would add, it'd probably make our new circulating supply like somewhere around twenty seven million five hundred thousand. So that's really what we're looking at on BNB sacrifice. So this I know this 100... is one of the deterrents why some people would say no is. I'm getting so much less percentage on flex, but we're trying to prove it's not really that astronomical. It's only 133,333. Yeah. If we have 1.2 million come in. That's what I would anticipate comes in. And yeah. that's what we'd add. So it wouldn't That's the same thing that I said, because it's double the amount of the of the of the Ethereum. Even yeah. if it was, guys, even if it was if, even if it was three times the amount that came in, it's not gonna add that much. But if we go to yeah. one point one point six or one point eight, let's go one point eight million. 1.8 million, million dollars coming in 1.8 million dollars divided by nine is only 200,000 coins extra that's it oh and I, I can i can actually give you exact percentage on that one second okay but 
um, if we were to, what's the exact amount? 27 million, 40,000. No, it's 27 million. So it's 27043144. All right. So that's the actual amount that we have. Yeah. If we were to, if we were to bring in, uh, if we were to add, well, I, I don't even have to go to it. It's 200. It's, it's an extra 200,000. So we go 27 million, 243144. Yeah. What's it's going to change this to? Here's our percentage. Is it going to change? What's it going to change from three six three seven three six seven five? It already changed. So what is one ninth? Let me say. Let me let me do this again. I forgot to take a snapshot on what it was before. Oh, there it was. Twenty-seven. One one. Oh, yeah. Forty-one forty-four. Right. Yeah. So it's. Three seven zero three. If we add, if we put this to two, what's it change to? Hold on, let's see if we can do that. It doesn't work though when you just try to. Yeah, you have to delete the whole number. Yeah. All right. So what is that? Three three seven zero three. Three seven zero three. It's three. It's like literally one one thousandth of a of a of a percentage point off. That's it's it. Point zero zero. Yeah, it, it drops it by about 0.68 of a percent. I did I did the math on that. Yeah, so there you go. 0.68. So not even one percent. So are you happy with that poodles? So is he even here? I think he yeah, is. I know I know if you're not up. throwing more money, you're gonna be sad at any percentage getting taken, but it is what it is. You have the choice to add. So you can't be mad at others adding when you have the choice to add yourself. That's all I agree. I agree. All right, so now look at this. The, the percentage is now 27,000, or I'm sorry, the, the circulating surprise, 27,240. How many days does that now turn into to get to 25? Is it 21 still? Yeah. It's still 21 days. So everybody watching, we're in the know of this. Only we know about this, right? 21,000. Or 21 days later, after we at, after we start, you know, it's going to be you know whatever like uh, it's going to be like 90 or 50 or 100, whatever it is on that day. It doesn't matter what the price is, and the reason why I say that to you is because you done picked up 25 more. So whatever whatever you sell it for, that's bonus because you just got 25 more. Another 25 days later, you're going to do the same exact thing, and while you're doing all that. You're picking up nine dollars and forty-one cents every day because we're only at twenty-five million. What happens when we're up here at two hundred fifty million or one sixty? You're picking up sixty dollars and twenty-four cents a day, which is twenty-one thousand dollars a year, almost twenty-two thousand dollars a year, and you're still selling every twenty-five days, twenty-five point six or twenty-one days. You're selling twenty-five point six two every single twenty-one days, and whatever that price is, what is this twenty-five? Let's go to the uh, to the regular calculator. And let's play and see what happens. Like, what, 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 what could that possibly turn into, right? I knew we he was going to do this. If we go twenty-five, right? Because it, it's exciting. People love it. Twenty-five on day twenty-one. The price is sixty-three dollars, right? Twenty-five times sixty-three. That's what we're at on day twenty-one. It's one million. No, it's not. <laughs> I was twenty-five say. times sixty-three. I don't know why this is not working. One thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars. Another 21 days later, it's at 20. You have 25 that re that re refilled into your into your wallet, and now the price the price is 85 bucks, right? Look at that, two thousand dollars. You keep on doing this every 21 days. 21 days later, the price came down to 69 dollars. Now you're at one. Like, this is what you're doing all every 21 days. So we're going to call days. every 21 days after the blockchain launches. We're going to call it a Prado party. Okay. Yes. And that's, right. Right. that's the name of it. And we're all going to get excited for our Prado parties. I, I, I figured out the exact math so everyone can easily understand what's going on. It's actually, the math works out pretty nice. Great. For every $1 million that comes in, not million tokens, but a million dollars that is sacrificed, that your percentage, if you didn't buy anything, would go down by about a third of a percent. That's not bad. great. One third. I yeah, I, I I did I did a little bit of math. Excuse excuse me for one second. We have a brand new pinned message that was just pinned to Discord. If Greek would like to read it, come up. Whoa, let's whoa, go over whoa, to it. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did I miss it? How did I miss it? Thank you. 
No. What is it? This one? Yep. No, the is last one. The hit, yeah. yeah. Just scroll down, Daniel. We're just stuck. The end of yeah, today's discussions. That's, that's it, Daniel. The one you had up. Yeah. In the interest of not opening a can of worms and potential derailment or divide divide in our community, we have decided to stick to our current roadmap. Our original plans have not been altered and will not change. Vulcan's direction has not been changed and remains on point. BEP 20 uh, redeem tokens will not be implemented. A final BNB sacrifice will not be implemented. I know today has been an eventful day of discussions to chat about potentials and i thank everybody for being so vocal please look out for more information about oopsie next week and have some bnb ready on the side if you want to hold on i gotta do this there, there goes mine there it is i got it on before green um please look out for more information about oopsie next week have more have some bnb ready on the side if you want to become an early adopter of oopsie thank you that's it so it's all over with everybody. It is all over. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I, I won't lie. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I thought that we were gonna have something like that too. Yeah, I'm disappointed too. I, I, I'm not. I'm not disappointed. I, no, like the whole. I, mean, I, I, would, I would be able to add like a hundred dollars. So I don't even want to. I don't want to hear it from anyone that's gonna be like, I can add like you know a hundred thousand. I'd be adding such a small, minute amount in comparison to anyone else. So. And you'll be happier you added that about when you determine what the charts are doing on day one. In my opinion, it's it a, yeah, you're still up, your opinion. That's all very good, sad. I'm still gonna add day one. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. at, at that point, but you know, it depends. For me, it depends on charts. But, but yeah, what we I mean, learned, now it forces me to have to wait. What we learned today is we all love Vulcan. We all want this blockchain out. I think yeah. everybody can vote yes for that. Okay. And he, anybody and he actually, who votes no is a fudder. That, he to the Another thing, he's he listened to the to, to the community. He voted. We voted. They voted no. And so you know, you gotta respect go. that. Yeah. yeah. It was put up to a vote. You know, yeah. community voted. You know. Um. He did say in other posts that he actually wanted to roll out the vesting schedule over 24 months, and he managed to convince um, this, the uh, centralized exchanges for 12 months. So um, that's a good thing because 24 months, I would have been okay with it. I've been, I know a lot more would have been pissed off with it. Yeah, Jacko, we just went over there and saw it on the on the uh, yep. on the Discord. We just we just checked it out. I mean, it just makes everyone just going to buy uh, Uxie instead, I guess. Yeah. Yanni Boy said it may not be 950. What, what, what may not be so 950? Read his comment before that. Oh, yeah. if you buy the first second, you will get $9 price most likely. If you buy the first second, what does that mean? Like right when so we launch, launch, if you click buy. Oh, okay. You got to be very, very quick. Yeah, you, you might be able to. For, the first second is going to be the only... Like it's just gonna be one or two people to get it at, at nine dollars. That's it. Everybody else is gonna get it for more. Yeah, and one's Lady Bex. She already called nine dollars. She's gonna be there. Yeah. So, but probably maybe, like we were talking earlier, maybe a stealth launch too. Oh, that's true. That that would be interesting. That's whoa, what we were talking whoa, about whoa, earlier, Greek. And I said the pride. I think that's what Brian did. He did it. Uh, he did. He did it on the DL with with Seifu though. Remember when we when we when we did this, everybody, and Chris, you were you were there for the presale. We got the pre-sale, and then it was supposed to launch 24 hours after the pre-sale ended. And I then an hour that. later, it launched. And Brian I was like, I don't that. know what happened. <laughs> what? I could see them saying, this four-hour window is when we'll launch. And you see everybody. That would build a lot of excitement, too. Yeah. Especially with us, because, you know, we're going to be live for 48 freaking hours. Mm -hmm. And we'll be like, is it launching now? Is it launching now? You know. And then when it does launch, imagine Prado's blood pressure. Greek, let me just tell you this: We're gonna have over five thousand people watching us that day, and that for those for those uh, forty-eight hours, those these numbers. I, I'm I'm serious. Like we just did it. We just did Justin a live. Justin Bieber is gonna be watching us. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna be watching. So, yeah, Mr. Wonderful. Sure. Yeah. And we're gonna have and we're gonna have over five thousand, and it might grow to ten thousand by the time the day gets here. And why? Look, we just did this live show today. We had over two hundred people going nuts over this. Imagine when we're launching. Are you crazy? Chris Cruz is going to become a big star. Everyone's going to know about it. 
Not me. <laughs> that over as soon as it you know it started. Well, I think this was a fun live, guys. Thanks for thanks everybody for coming on. We're gonna wrap it up right here. How about that? Everybody okay with that? Yeah. I'm okay with it. Yep. Well, I'm not gonna do a rundown. Talk. We're just gonna we're just gonna end it. Um, anybody have it, like I don't want to have to go around the room if I, if anybody doesn't want to have a, if anybody has a final thought then go ahead and say it. Kryptonian never said a word. Yeah, <laughs> Kryptonian, thanks for your uh, for, for your contribution, bro. We really appreciate everything that you did here today. Lots of wisdom. Yeah. Well, you muted my mic, so I really couldn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, we're all in a good position, and we're all going to succeed. And by the way, everybody, look out after launch for Greek Puppet. Don't forget about that, everybody. Greek Puppet after mm -hmm. launch. He's going to have a beard, right? <laughs> of course he's going to have a beard. Good. <laughs> Everybody's going to love Greek Puppet, bro. I feel so I, I want to do a live with Kryptonian so I can <laughs> listen to him talk. <laughs> I did all the talking last night on Pride's channel, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> I oh, think the no, public I should have a great. Why right not? Let's do a little bit of a rundown. I know the people love the rundown. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it, everybody. <laughs> Swarva, Sharma was here. Mark Spindler was here. King Kaching was here. Mrs. Worldwide was here. Brian Scott was here. Iani Boy was here. Chappie was here. Of course, Rob S. was here, and there goes Fizz Entertainment. He's putting everybody's link down at the bottom. And by the way, right now is probably the best time to put your name down there so that I don't forget you during this epic rundown, everybody. How about that? St. Jan was here. Jacko13 was here. There goes that one new a new commenter, everybody. Asambai Briggs. Asambai Briggs was here. That guy in San Francisco, Silent Knight, was here. Rob S. Tenet Godfather was here. Vince Lima was here, everybody. Kelly Productions was here. Triple Moon Goddess was here, everybody. Hank Tester was here. There goes Daniel Madera, who's here. Master Baron, who's here. With the Super Chef says, Baron in the house. What's up, Vulcan Brothers? Just join the live stream. Who's for and against the new announcement and why? Just curious. We're not for anything because it's incredible. Everything's been done. But thanks for being here. The Baron was here. Sky High was here. There goes Robert UK, who was here. Hendrick Rivera was here. Kieran Pierce was here. See Titch was here. I'm going to go all the way to the top. There goes Sorry Chad, who was here. I got to see if we can get to the top. Greek, there were so many freaking comments. A lot of Not comments. A lot of comments. How can we get to the top? Let's try to get all the way up there to see who came in first because that is important. The top five is always going to be important when it comes to the, to the live stream. Spudley RJ was here. Darwin the Turtle was here. Liven was here. Uh, Slumdog Millionaire was here. Bowling for Seifu was here, everybody. Good stuff, man. This is going to take a long time to get to the top. There goes Brian Legend, who was here, everybody. Of course, Brian Legend was here, Greek. He watches us all the time, bro. Vortis was here. Parump was here. Blockchain Poodle was here. Vortis was here. John Carter was here, everybody. Let's see if we can get to the top. There goes Legendary Bastard, who was here, everybody. Boom! Texas FPF was here. Sorry, Chad. DR was here. Anil Kumar was here. There goes Ari Hakrinen was here. I, I think that's the way you say that, right, Greg? Hakrinen? There goes Hakrinen. Uh, first. There goes Fergento, who was second. Hank Tester was third. Benzie to show. And Slumdog Millionaire rounds out the top five, everybody. There goes that one. Uh, Steve no, Joanna J, there you are. Joanna J was here. HM was here. Crypto Outlaw, GG DePaul was here. Boom, Chris Cruz was here. I'm going all the way to the bottom to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Let's just make sure that we did not miss anybody at all. There goes my name, Jeff, who was here. Rush was here. Chappie was here. Slumdog Millionaire, Ruletta was here. John Cannell was here. John Carter was here. You're on camera now. Again. There goes Gregory Shaw, who was here. Uh, so, for, for, for Rob, I keep on, I keep on having a problem with for Rob's name. For Rob Sharma was here. Chappie was here. Boom, shaka taka laka. I think that's it. Kryptonian was here, everybody. Nathan Beef was here. Gregory Shaw was here. And that looks like it's going to do it, everybody. I really appreciate everyone being here. 
We really do appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for more. We're going to have more. And don't forget, on launch day, 48 hours, 10,000 people will be here, Greek. <laughs> Richard Huffman was here. We'll see you guys next time.